G4. You're watching the Next Gen Review Marathon on G4. The sun is setting on the Mojave Desert, but the next generation of gaming is just beginning. Welcome to Countdown to Xbox 360. I'm Adam Sessler, judgmental gaming enthusiast. To my left is a lovely lady with a piercing intellect that would make Brainiac 5 turn even greener with envy. My co-host, Morgan Webb. And join Adam and I as we witness the launch of the Xbox 360, live from Microsoft's top secret zero hour event in the Mojave Desert. Yes, it may look like we're hanging out in Area 51, <laughs> but the truth is that Bill Gates' behemoth of a company is putting on the biggest launch event of its kind that we've ever seen. Either that or we're all about to be bombarded with gamma radiation. That's why my skin is bubbling. Anyway, Microsoft has filled this 400,000 square foot airplane hangar with thousands of gamers, hundreds of gaming stations, and live entertainment for an orgy of next-gen gaming that has been going on for the last 24 hours. And yes, I do realize that the phrase orgy of gaming does sound kind of nasty. Yes, well you, join us for a unique night of G4 programming as we celebrate conspicuous consumption by counting down to the beginning of the next console cycle. We'll be showing you exclusive in-depth looks at the making of the Xbox 360, previews, sheets, and interviews with key industry experts. And at midnight Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Pacific, we'll cover the sale of the first Xbox 360 and unveil X-Play's reviews of the 360's launch titles. And trust me, we won't be pulling any punches. Yep, you're gonna get a verdict on titles like Condemned, Madden 06, Project Gotham Racing 3, Call of Duty 2, and many others. But we know you people are never satisfied. So throughout the evening, we're bringing you exclusive world premiere trailers for upcoming Xbox 360 games. This is footage you've never seen before, and trust me when I say it's worth the wait. Of course, the 360 launch is bigger than just this zero-hour event. We have G4 hosts in line at Best Buy's all over the country to bring you breaking news and live interviews. All right, now in Seattle, home of Microsoft, we have G4TV.com's game guru, Jeff Keighley. Throughout the night, he'll be snagging us interviews with top executives because everybody likes to hear what the rich people think. It's true. Now in Los Angeles, part of the entertainment industry, Attack of the Show's internet poster boy, Kevin Ferreira, will be wrangling celebrity interviews. And in New York, covering the 360's East Coast launch is Chief Charming, Kristen Holt. Hello. Hello, everybody. I know some of you down there. Hello. This group will indeed form a family. It's much more than a hunch. Yeah. And in case you haven't noticed, this is a night of programming completely different than anything you've ever seen on G4 before. All right, let me sum it up. For the next 3.6 hours, we'll be mashing our top shows together and bringing you updates, previews, reviews, and exclusive 360 footage from across the gaming spectrum. And this clever little menu right down yeah, here is always going to tell you what's coming up next. So those of you with the short attention spans, you can stay two steps ahead of us. And what better or, you know, more self-congratulatory way to start the evening off than by showing you the first Xbox 360 preview from our own show, X-Play. That's who we work for. That's yes. right. Right now, EA is bringing its high-octane racing series into the future with the latest installment in the Need for Speed series. Yes, the only game where a Geo Metro drives like a Lamborghini is back. Here's our preview of Need for Speed Most Wanted. First, I'm gonna take your ride, then I'm gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. And thus begins Need for Speed's foray into the new and crazy world of the Xbox 360. Need for Speed Most Wanted wants to make a definitive statement on the whole police chasing car racing thing. The game keeps the Need for Speed template we've known since the Eisenhower administration, so the gameplay shouldn't surprise anybody. It's got the modes you like. Career, challenge, quick race, there's plenty of things to hit. Like fire hydrants and gas stations. And don't forget the God-given right to smash into car, after car, after station wagon. The difference this time out, it just looks and feels so much nicer. Everything appears glossy. The good glossy, not low-hand glossy. Look at those mountains. Look at those trees. Look at those cops over there trying to put on the squeeze. Look at these women. Ain't nothing like them nowhere.
Let's check out the main story. In a plot Paul Walker would kill for, you play a street racer, a simple person who just wants to race cars around quiet little towns. But everybody's out to get him. Like these two cops. They're not the best cops, but they are the best looking. I'd like to take a little peek under the hood. <laughs> or street racing champ Razor Callahan and his ragtag bunch of street urchins. He hates you almost as much as he loves double entendres. She's mine now, and I'm gonna ride her like you never could. <laughs> Hard and flat. Razor wins your pink slip. Yada yada yada, win races and bounty, and then get the big Razor rematch. As long as you stay away from Johnny Law. What an a-hole. These Buford T. Justice wannabes won't stand idly by as you cannonball all over the city. They'll come after you with a vengeance. You'd think cops would have better things to do. Nah, it doesn't matter. The more illegal maneuvers you go through, the better bounty you get. Hit a cop car. That's worth a few points right there. It's good, honest, fun cop maiming. And not a hot coffee in sight. Oh, I almost forgot. That's Mia. Get in. The female lead in the game. She'll help you out with the occasional smile, advice, and just being a good citizen. I'll let you get back to business. Will Need for Speed Most Wanted reinvent the racing genre? Probably not. But it's certainly not for lack of action or visuals. We'll have a more in-depth review on a further episode of X-Flag. But for now, with Need for Speed Most Wanted, you may be going to hell in a bucket, but at least you'll enjoy the ride. Yes, with live action, hoochie girls, and dynamic rear window damage, I have a feeling the racing fans will be all over this one like Tawny Katane on the hood of a Jaguar. That woman did more for interpretive dance than Twyla Tharp. Yes, yes she did. While we're basking in the fond memories of White Snake videos, you may have noticed there's a little clock right up there in the corner of your television screen. Now that's counting down the minutes until the sale of the first Xbox 360. Either that or your TV is a bomb. Come on, it's not a bomb, is it? more in the making of the 360, we turn to Attack of the Show's Kevin Pereira, live in Los Angeles. Kevin? Hey, Adam, thanks. That's right. I'm here in Hawthorne at the Best Buy in Los Angeles. Those people are lined up. You're on TV. You'll be excited. Look at this line. Check it out. They've been here since noon yesterday, and they're going insane. The energy is palpable in this little gamer shanty town. It reminds me of... Like, oh, a couple years back when I was in line for the original Xbox launch, and now here we are for the 360. Things have really gone um, full circle. Get it? Full circle, three, all right, anyway. Let's take a look back at the boys and girls at Microsoft who are really behind this little white pillar of power. We've come to know and love it as the Xbox 360. Here's part one of our retrospective on how the 360 came to be. It's 80 times more powerful than its predecessor. I wanted to get a lot more CPU and graphic source power. It's designed to take gaming to the next level. We've got Dolby 5.1, we've got high def, everything's ready to go for you. We weren't driving toward a spec, we weren't driving toward a marketing campaign. We we're driving for how do we make real games as good as they possibly can be. And it's poised to become the new king of interactive entertainment. And we're going after people. People on Earth is our market. Our strategy is to provide a great platform for game creators to do their best work. It's that simple. It's the Xbox 360, and this is its story. In 2001, the console wars are raging. The software giant, Microsoft, finds itself playing a role that it's not accustomed to the underdog. On Xbox One, our goals were pretty simple. It was beat Sony's performance and get to market faster than anyone's ever developed a game console. We were new to the market, brand new product in an established environment. Uh, Sony already had a huge uh, installed base by the time we hit, we hit the streets. Uh, they'd been out about 18 months before we launched. The challenge on Xbox One was all about time to market and maximize performance. We knew what Sony's architecture was, we knew we had to trump that architecture, and we knew we had to develop it in 18 months faster than anybody had ever developed a game console. Well, this is a, 
a very big night. Uh, it's a night that we've been waiting for for over 18 months. The launch itself was really successful. When we did launch, we sold out every one we had. We had a pretty good launch lineup, and we just kept building momentum. Xbox Live launched a year later. We pushed out around the world in the year. Look, look at this, look, 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 I'm on fire. So we were very, very happy with the launch of Xbox. By August 2005, 13 million Xbox consoles are sold in the US. A strong showing for a newcomer but it's short of Sony's established base of 30 million PlayStation 2s. While the original Xbox is anything but a failure, Microsoft has already set its sights on the next round. The Xbox 360 program started back in 2002. The, the code name for the product was Xenon. The lessons learned from the first Xbox prove invaluable. When, when we think about Xbox, it was really kind of learning the business. Microsoft had never done a game console before, hadn't really done a hardware business uh, at this scale before. So there was a lot to learn, just about how to run a business, how to sustain the business. And they wanted to get a foothold in the market. They wanted to figure out what worked. As we got into the market, we realized there was a lot more to the business that we didn't understand. Actually building a successful business on the financial side um, and building a bigger ecosystem where more of our partners could make profit. One of the big lessons we learned from Xbox was being more of a worldwide company. Xbox was kind of a US-centric product. I mean, it's a bunch of Microsoft guys, team members that got together and built a product. One of the things we learned was, hey, we didn't build a box that was as universally appealing as we'd have liked. So in Japan, it was a little intimidating. It was black, it was big. It wasn't something that they necessarily wanted to have in their home. In Europe, again, the black box wasn't as universally as interesting. At that time, we didn't know exactly what our architecture was going to be. We didn't know when Sony was going to launch. Uh, we didn't know what Nintendo's position in the market was going to be. So rather than picking a final architecture early on, we built a flexible architecture with some high-level goals and premises around how should we make architectural trade-offs. We got all together and said, how can we build the best overall product? And we went through a, a process of time where we actually sat down and, and developed a plan basically a 30-page document that said, here's what we'd like to build. And we did that in the context of a worldwide product. How do we address the Japanese market? How do we address the European market? How do we address the US market? How do we look at other regions around the world? How do we attract a broader audience? How do we make it great for the hardcore gamer? As the Xenon team puts together a game plan for the Xbox 360, Microsoft starts looking for the next generation technology that will power it. Yeah, the original Xbox was enormous and slightly malevolent. I saw the way it was menacing those Japanese gamers. But while Xbox One was bigger than your mother, yeah. the 360 has a curvaceous new design that still supports a vastly improved graphics processor. And to give us a glimpse of some of the games we'll be seeing on it, we join Cheat's resident trickster, Kristen Holt, live in New York. It's all yours, Holt. Hey guys, what's up? I'm live in New York City! until they get an Xbox 360. So I'll be coming back to you throughout the night, but you know I didn't come all the way to New York without bringing some cheats with me, did ya? I got them. So your first mission is to survive the tough battle, desert, a desert in the battle, a battle in the desert? What am I saying? For Call of Duty 2. So get your gun and get your war on. As you can see, war can be murder. So to keep from getting whacked, watch out for the enemies behind these barriers and move left past the burning tank to drive the Nazis back. Black ATAs, dead ahead. Get off the tank! Since charging a gun embankment is suicide, we used a flanking approach. Go left behind this building and you'll find the machine gun nest exposed. Toss a grenade amidst these exploding barrels to gently nudge the gunner out of his nest. Lie, little Nazi! Fly. Watch out for reinforcements and make sure you watch your back, too. These Nazi creeps have a way of sneaking up on you. 
Continue on and clear out the next battalion. After that, you'll need to eliminate four Flak 88 crews. Unfortunately, the Nazis love their Flak Canyon, so you can expect plenty of Flak as you try to take them out. At the first cannon, use a grenade to clear out the crew. The only obstacles you can anticipate are the withering fire of an MG42 and plenty of reinforcements. No problem, right? The road to the second cannon is blocked by a tank. Yeah, good luck with that. Use your own tanks as cover and take to the streets. Clear out as many Germans as possible, then dive into the bloodbath that surrounds the second cannon. Oh, and try to keep all your friends from getting mowed down. Once you take the cannon, move to the left alleyway so you can flank the third gun. Oh, and one quick word to the wise. As you roam the streets, make sure you peek around the corners. Otherwise, this can happen. Oh, uh, hi guys. To take out the final flat cannon, just toss in a couple of grenades and mop up the survivors. Hey, you're getting pretty good at this. After that, your final objective is retaking the mosque. It's an MG-42 on the top floor! Just eliminate the machine gunners and your mates will do the rest. Tell Rommel you've been beat by the boys of the Seventh Armor! Alright, sure, you've learned to cheat your way through Call of Duty 2, you lazy bastards. But we'll be telling you if you should actually buy the game when we review it later in the show. Now, up next, our preview of Perfect Dark Zero. The first of our exclusive world premiere trailers. And, of course, Quake 4 for the Xbox 360. Your TV is diseased, so don't you dare touch no. that dial. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> We're only getting started tonight, and Fight Night 360 is on after the break. More about the Xbox 360 right after this, only on G4. What happens when you take a pack of renegade snowboarders? Dude, why aren't you looking? And force them to work and live in Tahoe's dopest hotel? Party as much as you want, bring the girls, don't trash my place. My boyfriend is very worried and concerned about me working here. Why are you being such a Introducing The Block, series premiere January 15th at 10. Only on G4. All flights have been canceled. Oh no, the kids! Unaccompanied Minors is bringing holiday cheer to audiences everywhere. They loved it, I loved it, you gotta see it. I can't let my sister think Santa forgot her. Put you in a great Christmas spirit. Unaccompanied Minors, rated PG, now playing. The true power and beauty of plasma is often hidden, unable to be captured. <laughs> Only Hitachi Original Technologies unleash the most lifelike color and detail in plasma. Introducing the world's highest resolution 42-inch plasma HDTV only from Hitachi. Just gives me the feeling like she's not like listening to me. Have you tried not saying like every other word? What? Remember your ski trip story? Yeah. I was like going down the hill and like there was a crowd no, and like come on, that's and not I was me. like stuff either happens or it doesn't. Happen. Holy The holiday miracle sales event. No real miracles, just 199 Jettas until January 2nd. Are you a movie freak? Do you like cool tech toys? Well, this holiday, come to Vongo.com. For about 10 bucks a month, you and your family get unlimited movie downloads. So you can watch your movies at home, on the road, or anywhere else. And with the right cable, you can plug into just about any TV. Now this holiday, give yourself and your family the gift of unlimited movie downloads. Anywhere with Vongo. Video on the go. When it comes to going bald, you now have a choice. Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. It is your real hair. It's your natural hair. 
you wash it, you cut it, you swim with it. Bosley is the world's most experienced hair restoration experts, having pioneered virtually every major advancement in the art and science of hair restoration. I'm very, uh, very satisfied, very happy with what I've done. This has got to be one of the best decisions I've made in my life, I'll tell you that. Bosley hair restoration is a relatively simple outpatient procedure. The results look completely natural and it's affordable on nearly any budget. Call the toll-free number now to receive your free no-obligation information kit that will help you decide if hair restoration at Bosley is right for you. You don't have to accept going bald. Do something about it right now. Call 1-800-457-3615. That's 1-800-457-3615. Call now. Welcome back to the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to Countdown Countdown to Xbox 360. We're live at Microsoft's top secret zero hour launch party here in the Mojave Desert. Yes, Bill Gates' big company is shoveling money at the fanboys and we're moving closer to midnight Eastern time and the beginning of the next generation of gaming. As the sale of the first Xbox 360 approaches, we're bringing you a first look at the games that will make or break it. It's, that's going to happen in just a minute, and we're going to give you our first exclusive 360 trailer, Fight Night 360. But right now, a heavily hyped game everybody has been dying to get a closer look at. From the makers of the legendary Golden Life, the N64, here's X-Play's preview of Perfect Dark Zero. since we last met up with Joanna Dark in the original Perfect Dark. The semi-follow-up to the now legendary GoldenEye 007 for the N64. And though the series is five years older, Perfect Dark Zero for the Xbox 360 is actually a prequel that explores how Joanna got hooked up with the Carrington Institute. It also explores the bottom of the comedy barrel. Shut up! before I drop you like a bad conversation. The story's also about Joanna's father. I'm taking heavy fire! Who, for being a hotshot secret agent, can't seem to keep himself out of trouble. But keeping dad upright is the least of Joanna's worries. Burn! <laughs> this time around, she's got herself a rival. You made a friend. Not really. She's way high maintenance. She's also got an arsenal of dual-wielding death sticks to master. Are we gonna play nice? Gonna get my pistols, machine guns, turrets, shotguns. These things. Where's the fight? A new cover system also allows Joe to hide behind objects and pop out at just the right time. Duck, duck, goose. The game challenges you to be sneaky, which means eavesdropping on conversations <laughs> and disabling turrets and cameras. But more often than not, the game boils down to epic gunfights with chatty enemies. Now you're on my list. Stings, huh? Oh, I don't know. Does it? Oh! There's the occasional vehicle to hop into, though it's nowhere near as extensive as Halo. And in another nod to the Xbox classic, Joanna can share the butt of her gun with the rest of the world. She's reloading! Our initial time with the final version has yielded mixed results, so hang on for our final verdict in the coming weeks. Well, I think it goes without saying that the yes. expectations for Perfect Dark Zero were sky high. Rare was working on this game literally until the last possible minute. Everyone in this industry got a copy of the game at that last minute, which is why we're bringing you the preview and not the review we wish we could have given you tonight. Now, until Halo 3 comes out, it seems like a lot of people are counting on this to be the 360's killer app. Now, whether it will be or not remains to be seen. But now that we've seen Perfect Dark Zero, let's take a closer look at the writhing, seething math mass of Microsoft-sponsored humanity that is all surrounding us. Mm. Now to find out what's happening down on the floor, here's G4 TV's Tina Wood with a tour of this giant launch event. Here we are standing in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Why? Because people are freaking out! In a few minutes, that hangar door is going to open and all these people are going to rush in to get their 
your greedy little hands on the Xbox 360 and all the titles that come along with it. Tonight marks the biggest gaming event of the year and it starts right now. away from this hangar opening and all of these people getting a chance to play the Xbox 360. People have come from everywhere. Let's find out. Where are you from? North Carolina. All the way from North Carolina. Are you ready? Welcome to your Xbox 360. And with that, a 36-hour gaming extravaganza begins. single launch title that's going to be available on the 360 is playable right now here on the floor of the hangar. From Call of Duty 2 to Tiger Woods 2006 to NHL 2K6. And you know what? Even some of the titles that didn't make launch are playable, like Dead or Alive 4. This game looks unbelievable. If you think the Jiggle Factor looked good in DOA 3, you got to see it on the next gen high def system. Zero Hour is not without its casualties. Corn, Xbox 360, corn, fake corn. Now this is considered the chill out area. When you've had too much gaming, you've had too many demos, this is where you come to put your feet up. And nothing says put your feet up like a tree. Like a tree in the middle of a white carpet surrounded by green neon lights. So one of the biggest events of the night is the Kaiju Big Battle, where pro wrestlers and grown men dress up like monsters. What a great time I've had here at the 360 launch event, but there's so much more going on that you guys get to see, but I gotta go, because I got some serious monster ass I gotta kick. Do you want some of this? Do you want some of Do you want, ow. Wow, fanboys, they, they're aggressive. Yes, yes they are. Now we're here enjoying the sights, sounds, and general hysteria of the 360 Zero Hour launch event. But we like to share the love, so throughout the night, we're bringing those of you stuck at home exclusive world premiere trailers for the Xbox 360. And we've got our first one right now. Yes, when we saw this game at E3, we thought it was going to be a PS3 exclusive, and we were wrong. Here is the first footage ever shown of the Xbox 360 version of EA Sports' Fight Night. It has punching. Very good. This year's E3, we saw a trailer of Fight Night on the PS3 as well, and well, this doesn't look all that different. It has the rippling flesh the and rippling the blood flesh. and saliva finally flying out of the mouth. It's exactly. They look very similar. They look very good. Which now, so hopefully that may live up to what people are saying to the Xbox and the PS3 may be more similar than we ever thought. Anyway. Anyway, only move in case there's a fire, because up next, we have the latest from Microsoft headquarters in Seattle. Oh, and we have Quake 4. And later, more exclusives, more cheats, and reviews of the 360's launch titles. We'll be back in a minute. Or two. More 360 Launch Madness right after this, only on G4. January 15th. Engage. Star Trek The Next Generation goes interactive. <laughs> Upgraded with 22 new stocks and all new facts and stats. Resistance is futile. Star Trek TNG 2.0. Premieres January 15th at 9. You will be assimilated. Only on G4. 
If you purchased or refinanced your home a couple of years ago and you got one of those adjustable teaser rates to qualify, well, you may be facing an increase that could raise your monthly payment by hundreds of dollars. What can you do? Well, just call or log on to DiTech.com and refinance to a low fixed rate. With DiTech, you can feel confident that you're being taken care of every step of the way. Call 1-800-71-FIXED or log on to DiTech.com, a GMAC company. The final days of the Pontiac Red Tag event is the time to find Pontiacs designed with power, impressive fuel economy, and the best coverage in America. And now find them tagged in red. And the price on that tag is the price you pay. The Pontiac Red Tag event. Your last chance to get the best factory to dealer incentives of the year. But only until January 2nd. See some red, save some green. At Gamefly, our passion for gaming has led us to rent games differently. We think different is better. Choose from thousands of the latest and classic video games delivered right to your door. Keep them as long as you want with no late fees. Then send them back in our prepaid envelope. People think we're crazy to rent games for as low as $8.95 for the first month. We think we're visionaries. Our vision? Make renting easier. Different? Maybe. Smarter? We think so. Go to Gamefly.com and start renting differently. New low starting price. Products on rated E through M. Man, my cell phone was way too boring. It was just blah, blah, blah. It was making me crazy. And then I found Playphone. They call themselves Playphone. This dude told me about Playphone. It's an amazing deal. Ten downloads for just $9.99. Ten downloads for just $9.99. Ten downloads for just $9.99. Now, I'm hearing real music tones. Not that beeping stuff. Beep, beep, beep. Finally, real music tones. And games. Lots and lots of games. I didn't know there were so many games. Games? Over the top. And wallpaper. It's a total trip. Maybe I'll go psychedelic. Nah. It was easy. I just sent the keyword by text message. And you choose your downloads right from your phone. Real music tones. Wallpaper. Games, games, and more games. Ten downloads from Playphone for just $9.99. It's incredible. 10 downloads for just $9.99. Are you listening? 10 downloads for just $9.99. Give it a try. You should try it. Play now at Playphone. Hi, I'm Alan Thicke here in Las Vegas, the most exciting city on earth with an offer you cannot refuse. For a limited time, Tahiti Village, the newest five-star resort in Las Vegas, is offering a complimentary three-day, two-night, second honeymoon getaway to Vegas. You'll have the romantic time of your life, and it won't cost you a dime. You may even stir up a little romantic magic with everything Vegas has to offer. This offer is limited to people who love food, fun, dining, gambling, sports, big shows, big stars, and generally people just loving life. Come on in. The party starts when you get here. Space is limited. Fun is not. It's couples only. It's complimentary. Hey, if you call right now, we'll throw in a pair of tickets to one of those fabulous shows right here on the Strip. What happens in Vegas should be happening to you. Only a limited number of complimentary packages available. Call this number now for details on this special offer. You're watching the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360 on G4, the number one podcast and cable network in America. And you can find all of the details at G4TV.com and iTunes. But right now is the launch of the next generation of gaming, and we're coming to you live from Microsoft's gigantic zero-hour event in the Mojave Desert. It's like a rave for very, very unhealthy people. Attack of the Show's Kevin Pereira is covering the festivities in Los Angeles. Kevin, how are you doing? That's right, I'm here at the Best Buy in Los Angeles, hanging out with the real gamers yeah! that have been in line, anxiously awaiting the 360. I'm here with Ronnie. Ronnie, how long have you been lined up for? Uh, approximately, what, 26 hours already? 26 I've been here. hours. I've been here since last night, uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Number two in line. Now, did Number you have two. to tell your employer that you were going to be sick, or you you cutting class? Does actually, your science teacher know? Actually, I'm skipping class right now, you know, so hopefully he doesn't see me. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's things that are more important than studying, we right. understand. Yeah. Now, you, you were in line for the original Xbox launch. Yes, I was, actually. Yeah. You know. and, and you came back for more punishment. Of course. You know. Now, if, do you have a girlfriend? Does she know you're here? Are you, would you like to get one after uh, you spend the money on the 360? <laughs> well, she'll probably be dumping me after this, because, you know, instead of buying her a ring, I'm buying this. Ex you know, exactly. But... Sweetie, I can't come over tonight. I'm sick. 
Did you tell her you had the avian flu, or did you tell her that you were lining up for the Xbox? Actually, I didn't tell her anything, so that's another problem I made, you yeah, know, yeah. so... You're, you're in deep trouble now, buddy. I'm in deep trouble. What, now, so, what are you getting? You're grabbing the console, I'm assuming you're getting some games to go with it? Of course, uh, like NBA Live, you know, I'm not mad at like, um... Now, are you getting any, uh, you know, you got to be familiar with the first-person shooters. Whenever there's a console launch, it's all about the first-person shooters. Right. You know, there's Perfect Dark Zero, you got Call of Duty 2. Have you heard about uh, Quake 4 at all? Uh, no, I haven't, though, but uh, I heard a couple of people talk about it and say it was pretty awesome, so I'm going to take a look into it. You well, know? You, should, you should pay attention, and, and so should the folks at home. Here's X-Play's exclusive preview of Quake 4 for the Xbox 360. <laughs> I don't care about you, Mr. I'm happy to be a space marine, and you know why? Because you're gonna die. You're all gonna die. My legs. I can't move them. Yeah, count yourself lucky. Look what happened to this guy. See? Dead. And if I don't want to follow you into that cold, dark place, I've got to pump a lot of lead into anyone that doesn't look like me. Yep, it's just what you'd expect from our preview of Quake 4 for your shiny Xbox 360. Gunfire. Lots of it. If Doom 3 is the thoughtful uncle that used to spend time giving you sage advice, Quake 4 is the angry one that used to get drunk and try to hit you with an empty bottle of Southern Comfort. You play a space marine on a mission to eliminate the eminent threat to humanity, the Strog. The Strog are an especially nasty form of space vermin that have a penchant for using human body parts as circuit boards. But the Strogs have no desire to go quietly into that good night. From the moment you make planet fall, you deal out death, judgment, and the occasional death gurgle. The Strog eventually capture your intrepid interstellar jarhead and Strogify him into a human toaster. Well, a half-human toaster that likes to shoot things. Quake 4 often puts you planet side with allies. They'll bark at you, giving you mission objectives and backstory. You gotta take out that air defense cannon. And I'm sure it beats the hell out of this. The 360 keeps up all the graphical chops Quake has on the PC. The horror of interplanetary war is rendered in stunning clarity. You'll soldier on in many beautiful hallways and brown canyons. Wait a second. I've got a reading. Um, do you see the gigantic spider next to you? Right, see what I mean? Dead. With all this hostility, a guy can start to feel lonely. Thankfully, there'll be lots of vehicles to keep you feeling warm and fuzzy, like the hover tank. And this mech. What are you guys trying to do? You don't even come up to my knee, and now you're dead. Oh, would you look at this place? I just cleaned up in here. Who set all these fires? That's the last time I let a straw crash on the couch. Doom 3 may have botched multiplayer hardcore, but it looks like Quake 4 will succeed where its Mars-minded cousin failed. You'll have plenty of flavors of Space Marine to choose from. There's green, gray, greenish gray. And with the 360's Xbox Live support, we're sure it'll be the best time you've ever had killing 12-year-olds with too much money. All right, you maggots, haul ass or die! Quake 4 is loud teeming with really mad Zombots and sure to scratch that trigger figure itch when it crashes to Earth this winter. We are getting close, and hey, you twitchy bastards, don't you go anywhere. When we come back, we have Wild West working girls from Gun, Cheats, and Microsoft VP Peter Moore. Okay, that's cool, too. Yeah. And later, the sale of the first Xbox, more exclusive trailers and reviews of the 360 launch titles. We'll tell you what to buy and what to avoid, like avian flu. Can avian flu really be avoided? Probably not. <laughs> Stay tuned for more of the Next Gen Review Marathon. The young male brain comprised of two distinct sectors. This half, the technology. This half, the pleasure center. Obsessed with getting your noodle in the center. For two days, G4 brings you gadgets and girls. January 11th, go inside the Consumer Electronics Show and see the future of tech. Then on January 12th, stimulate those pleasure centers at the Adult Entertainment Expo. G4 presents CES and AEE January 11th and 12th at 9 p.m. Balance your brain with G4. Code White, do you copy? Copy that. Hey. Need a lift? Yeah. 
Good thing I have insurance. I can report a claim 24-7. But he'll never get his car repaired out here. <laughs> Not true. With its direct repair program, insurance can always find you a reliable body shop. But what if he had his own body shop? At insurance, it's your choice. If you're on the go, you've got to have insurance. Save on 24-7 claim service. Visit insurance.com today. <laughs> Guess who just saved $380 on a new digital camcorder? Yep, Bob just discovered UBid.com, where anyone can save up to 70% on brand name home electronics, computers, and more. And only UBID backs every purchase with a 100% fraud-free auction guarantee. So you can bid safe and save big, like Fred here, Holy who just saved $725 on a new high-definition flat-screen plasma TV. And Mike, who saved $88 on a brand new MP3 player. Everybody's bidding safe and saving big and catching UBID euphoria. They're saving up to 70% on brand name home electronics, computers, cell phones, watches, jewelry, video games, and collectibles, sports memorabilia, car audio, PDAs, vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Even great stuff for your home and garden, special weekly deals, and much, much more. Auctions start as low as $1, or you can buy it now and still save a bundle. Remember, UBIT backs every purchase with a 100% fraud-free auction guarantee. That means everything you purchase on UBIT is fraud-free, and that means worry-free. So go ahead, log on to UBIT right now, and see how easy it is to catch UBIT euphoria. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it at UBIT.com, all saving up to 70%. You could save hundreds of dollars on the brand name items you want. And with UBIT's 100% fraud-free auction guarantee, it's worry-free. Come on! What are you waiting for? Go to UBIT right now. You bid, you buy, you save, you celebrate! It's UBIT euphoria! Catch it now at UBIT.com. Save big, save safe. UBIT. Log on to UBIT now. You'll save big on brand name items. UBIT's the safest place to bid and save. Just go to 26.ubidtv.com You're watching the Next Gen Review Marathon on G4. I, I can't afford any more hot dogs for these kids. <laughs> How are we going to keep them cheering? Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360. We are live in the Mojave Desert at Microsoft Massive zero-hour event standing high above 400,000 square feet of swirling fanboys. And fangirls. It's a fanboy swirling. <laughs> yes, it is the all-night all launch excitement of a multi-billion dollar company. And all evening long, we'll be moving closer and closer to the sale of the first Xbox 360. And while we're holding down the Ford on the west side, Cheat's multi-talented Kristen Holt is covering things on the east coast. Let's join her in New York. It's all you, no, no, Kristen. No. Town with Mike, who was the second person in line today. How long have you been waiting? Since 1.30 this morning. And you came all the way from Brooklyn? Yes, East New York. All right, so what are you thinking? About, what's making you hype about the Xbox 360? I mean, the online capabilities, it's shutting Sony down. It's all about Xbox 360. That's all it's about tonight. All right, right now, I need you to strap on your boots and take a trip to the wild, wild west in gun. We're likely to meet Apaches along the way. If they get the upper hand, I promise you'll put a bullet in my head before they have their fun. In this mission, you're tasked with protecting the lovely Jenny on the way to Empire. Keep the mansions off us! Since Apaches attack pale faces on sight, you'll need all your sharpshooter skills to keep the stagecoach running. <laughs> the initial charge isn't overwhelming. Either use your quick draw skill, or make your horse trample the enemy. Basically, do whatever you can to keep the coach safe. Get over here, we're being attacked! The next section is a little more difficult. You'll find yourself on foot, faced with attackers from all sides. <laughs> keep an eye out for archers, and when you spot one, duck. Once you've cleared the canyon, grab a TNT barrel and blast apart the barrier. Let's keep moving! Continue on with the stagecoach and fight back attackers. 
Watch out for reinforcements from the river, and remember, your horse can be used as a weapon. Trample a few bad guys at once, and you'll save a lot of ammo. I'm gonna make a run for it. The wheel pin's busted. I can fix it, but it'll take some time. I'll buy you some with this. While Jenny's pretty handy with the rifle, she's still gonna need your help. Ow! We had the most success taking out the initial lot below the ridge and then grabbing a horse. Damn, it just keeps coming! After that, shoot or trample as many attackers as you can, paying special attention to anyone heading for the coach. In the last section of the level, you'll be camping on top of the stagecoach. Let's get the hell out of here. As it makes its way to Empire. Look sharp now! This is basically a shooting gallery, so get your quick draw on. Sorry, no free ride. Use any fire bombs you still have and make use of those conveniently placed bundles of TNT. We're good! Hold on! Follow these tips and you'll reach the city singing rawhide. Rolling, 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 keep them wagons rolling, rawhide. I'm in one piece <gasps> thanks to Colton here. He left more than a few Apaches dead in their tracks. Son, you've done the town of Empire a great service. Thanks, Kristen. Now I know how to protect a wagon full of hookers. It's, it's great work if you can get it. Hey. I wish I had it. <laughs> if you're thinking of changing the channel, Shame on you! Yeah, up next, for the sleek new design of the 360 and an exclusive interview with Microsoft VP Peter Moore. Because when British people talk, they just sound smarter than the rest of us. It's true. More Next Gen Madness right after this, only on G4. Meet snowboarding god Mark Frank Montoya. He's opened this dope hotel on the slopes of Tahoe, where there are only three rules. Party as much as you want, bring the girls, don't trash my place. We're following his staff of misfits and madmen. People get really drunk and rowdy. They work hard. This is heartbreaking. I mean, I've never washed a toilet or anything in my life. And play even harder. I'll do anything right now for money and broke. Introducing The Block. <laughs> Series premiere January 15th at 10, only on G4. Game shown, let it mature. GameTap offers you hundreds of the greatest video games, including Far Cry, Prince of Persia, and Silent Hill. And now your first month is just 99 cents. Go to GameTap.com. GameTap offers you hundreds of the greatest video games, including Sam and Max and Mist Online Uru Live. And now your first month is just 99 cents. Go to GameTap.com. Some games rated EDT, not all games rated by the ESRB. Beginning this January, watch live PGA Tour coverage on the Golf Channel. Starting with the season opening Mercedes-Benz Championship, where Tiger Woods will be aiming for his seventh straight PGA Tour victory. But Stuart Appleby has a streak of his own. He's won the last three years in Maui. One streak will end, guaranteed. Watch all four rounds of the Mercedes-Benz Championship starting January 4th on the Golf Channel. Okay, movies! Since Netflix has made it so easy for people to find the right movies, you're all going out today. Uh -huh. Netflix users can choose from classics and new releases to TV shows and get the details on over 70,000 titles. Even search for children's movies based on age. That's you, Pinocchio. Yep. No late fees ever, so some of you may be out for quite a while. Children's movies, don't forget to call home when you get there. Netflix, the DVDs you want from only $5.99 a month. The IRS threatened to seize my car, my boat, and my business. I didn't know where to turn, so my accountant recommended Power Tax Relief. Thousands of law-abiding Americans have turned to Power Tax Relief. Honest people just like you, whose circumstances left them owing more taxes than they could pay. Like the Myers family, who owed the IRS $40,000 from illness and family emergencies. With Power Tax Relief, we paid only a portion of what we owed the IRS. And they saved our house. You can bet the IRS will have lawyers working on your case. Don't take a chance without your own legal help. I was so worried I was going to lose my practice, but the team from Power Tax Relief, they got me a second chance. 
Look, you have a limited window to negotiate with the IRS and settle your debt for less. This could be your last chance. Play it right with Power Tax Relief. Owe over 10000 in taxes? Settle with the IRS for less. Call 800-795-5101. That's 800-795-5101. Welcome back to the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to the 360. Now we're moving closer to the sale of the first Xbox 360 and as we do, we're bringing you in-depth previews of the games lighting up Microsoft's Next Gen console. And hooking us up with an exclusive interview in Seattle is Jeff Keighley. Looks like you've got some company there, Jeff. I do. Thanks, Adam. I'm here with Xbox executive Peter Moore. Peter, congratulations. You excited Thanks, tonight? Uh, well, look at it. I, I, I am these guys certainly. I know it's a great night, Jeff. The night we've been looking to for a long time. Fantastic. Now, last night we were at the big opening of Zero Hour. Adam and Morgan are tonight. Uh, yep. I got to tell you, you were getting a little choked up when you sort of opened the doors. What, what was that experience like for you? Well, you know, as I said last night, when you've got thousands of people that have been working on this project, and then when those big hangar doors opened, and you could see the look of anticipation on all of the fans' faces, it was great for both Jay and myself to be able to enjoy that with the fans. And it was for the fans. It was a great night. It's still going on right now. Now, I know there are a lot of fans out there that want a 360 tonight. There are a lot of stories about, you know, how many are going to be out there. Is there going to be a shortage? How many 360s? Are out there in stores around the U.S. tonight? A lot. A million, nine hundred thousand, any numbers? A lot. A lot. All right. Well, but some people said, you know, are you kind of? There's a shortage out there. You know, is that a marketing strategy, or can you not produce enough? What's the real story on that? We are making as many as we can, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're flying them in. Um, I think the difference in the strategy, maybe from past launches, is we're trying to get as many in for tonight for the fans like we've got behind us here, but more importantly, continuing to replenish the channel all the way through the holidays and, of course, into the new year. Excellent. Now you got 18 launch titles, which you're yeah. saying is the best launch lineup ever, right? I believe so. Yes, well, and one of them is Perfect Dark Zero. A lot of questions about whether that was going to make day one. It did make day one. It was right down to the wire. Got to ask you, though, I mean, are you happy with it? Do you feel, did you have to cut corners to get it out there on day one? No, the real challenge with Perfect Dark Zero, it's such a rich multiplayer game. You know, as many as 32 people can go into maps now that the testing process for Perfect Dark Zero was so complex. We needed to make sure that we really beat this game to death to make sure that the environment and the experience of Xbox Live for PDZ right. was going to be perfect. Excellent. Well, it is out there. Now, another thing I wanted to ask you about was there, there was a Nielsen study that just came out today, which was interesting. It said, they asked all these gamers and they said, you know, are you guys going to buy the next, when are you going to buy the next generation? And they said, over 50% of the gamers say they're going to wait until they see PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in the market before they decide which one they're going to buy. Do you think that's, is that what gamers should be doing or should they be jumping in now? I think there's no reason to wait. 18 right. great launch titles, high definition gaming, 720p output, 5.1 multi-channel sound, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, two times anti-aliasing in all of the games. Right. I don't know why you'd wait. Well, I, as long as you can find one in the store, right, Peter? <laughs> That's exactly That's right. right. All right, well, congratulations, Peter. You, Xbox 360 launch, well deserved. Right. Well, Back to you Jeff. guys in Thank Mojave. You. Thanks, Jeff. Now, it is time to... I think it's time pretty much to just go to break. So yes. don't bring, blink, don't forget to breathe either because, well, as if they stop breathing. Then we have their corpse on our hands and that's, that's not good. I'll shed a tear. Yeah, Maybe yeah. even two. Up next, we have more cheats, condemn the making of the new Xbox, and later, reviews of the 360's biggest launch titles. More about the Xbox 360 right after this, only on G4. January 15th. Engage. Star Trek The Next Generation goes interactive. <laughs> Upgraded with 22 new stocks and all new facts and stats. Resistance is futile. Star Trek TNG 2.0. Premieres January 15th at 9. You will be assimilated. Only on G4. Christmas comes early with... It was really funny. It's, oh! It rocked! Ah! Oh, we loved it! Unaccompanied minors. Rated PG. Now playing. Working from home changed my life. It all started when I was referred by this free service. All you need is a computer and a little belief in yourself. With all the money I made working from home, I bought a new home. This is the one website you have to visit. I love the lifestyle my home business offers. And the money's great, too. If you're not working from home, then you're missing out on your share of a multi-billion dollar industry. I make over $7,000 a month working part-time. I'm making $5,000 a month. 
Never thought I'd make this much right out of school. I actually like what I do now, and I'm making more than ever. Put your computer to work now. My goal for next month is $20,000. Working from home changed my life. This is the one website you have to visit. I love working from home. Ready for more money? Start earning extra money yourself by going to this website today. Log on to 3moreincome.com now. Warning, the following film contains outrageous sexual content, gratuitous nudity, and excessive drug use. Take this. It enhances sexual experience. It's National Lampoon's Pledge This, starring Paris Hilton, a non-stop, unrated, sexy college comedy. Where's my underwear? I hate them. National Lampoon's Pledge This. Buy the DVD today. Mommy's gonna make you a man! Homeowners, let us help you today. Here at the Mortgage Center, you are our valued customer. Imagine having three banks competing for your business. It's true. I made one fast and easy phone call. I was approved and received three great offers instantly to refinance my home. Homeowners, cash in today. Get money for debt consolidation or home improvement. The Mortgage Center can and will help. Call today. I was dangerously in debt. My credit was in the low 500s. But within one phone call, I was approved for three life-changing offers and on my way to being debt-free. Oh, more than $75,000 on your home? We have the lowest rates in the industry. Poor credit? No problem. Call our loan hotline today to receive three free quotes. It's that easy. The Mortgage Center helped me. They can help you too. All homeowners with loan amounts above $75,000 are approved for three free quotes. So call our 24-hour loan hotline now. You're watching the Next Gen Review on G4. And welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360. We're into hour two of our non-stop coverage of the Xbox 360 launch. And as we move closer to the sale of the first Xbox 360, we're coming to you live from Microsoft's top secret zero hour event in the Mojave Desert. This is the biggest launch event we've ever seen, and to cover it, we're doing the biggest night of programming in G4's history. And we're slicing and dicing G4's gaming lineup to bring you cheats, interviews, previews, and exclusive never-before-seen next-gen game trailers. And and later in the show, after the sale of the very first Xbox 360, we'll bring you x place no holds barred reviews of the 360's biggest launch titles. Condemned, Madden, Project Gotham Racing 3, and many more. This 360 launch night is so huge that it spans the entire U.S. And to cover it, we're joined by our very own G4 correspondents. Live from Los Angeles, Attack of the Show's Kevin Pereira. From Seattle, Lando Microsoft, G4TV.com's Jeff Keeley. And from New York City, Cheats' Kristen Holtz. And we'll have more from the people in those tiny little boxes later tonight. But right now, people all over the country are coming out for this launch event. And while American gamers are excited about the 360 launch, they certainly aren't the only ones. There are also gamers from all over the world here in the Mojave to celebrate the laser-legged birth of the 360. Yes, there were 36 special contest winners that were brought here from Europe on a private jet. And they got VIP access to this event. Yeah, that'd be nice. And we sent Adam to meet some of these international gamers of mystery and Los Angeles and fly with them to the desert. This is his journey. So I'm here at the Viceroy Hotel with some of the lucky European winners to go to Zero Hour. These are the VIPs and they're from Europe, which is one of my favorite countries. What? We're sitting poolside here with Axel, and Axel, where are you from? I'm from Sweden. So, so you don't sit around playing Xbox, getting really aggressive, you know, with, 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 with Viking gear on, going, I'm going to get your women. I haven't smashed anything yet while playing. So uh, what are you most looking forward to in Dead or Alive 4? Oh, probably the graphics. <sighs> and the combat system. <sighs> really? That's, yeah. that's all you're looking forward to in Dead or Alive? No, Xbox 360, you have uh, the game Cameo. Yeah. It's, it's in the same uh, gender of uh, hit plants and those big uh, octopus-like uh, uh, creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the uh, Japanese kind of like those octopus creatures, don't they? It's a movie coming out from Japan now. It's a man actually fighting against a small octopus. <laughs> We go. 
You know, being inside a home alone is kind of like being in an R. Kelly video, except I'm not covered in urine. After partying all, yiggy, yiggy, yes, y'all. We're here at the airport, and we're about to board our own private jet. Look at that. Look at Los Angeles. There are millions of annoying people out there. All right, it's night out. The air is thick with tension and European cigarette smoke. I think everyone's getting more excited for the moments away from heading over to the site for zero hours. This is zero hour, and these are the VIPs. We're gonna get the top level treatment. So, let's go see what it's all about. Is it really worth it, or is it just a couple of donuts and an old lady? We'll see. This is the moment all these people have traveled thousands of miles to experience the opening of hangar doors. It's always sad to come to the end of a journey, one where you've made so many new friends and heard so many new accents, smelled so many new smells, but I will always treasure the time that I spent with some very important people who were very important for just a couple of days. Oh, Europeans, they're fun. Yes. And for more of what we can expect to see on the 360 and how to navigate your way through it, we joined Cheat's lovely Kristen Holt in New York. Kristen? Hey guys, what's up? It's still raining, but it's still hype here in New York City. These fans are anxiously awaiting to get their Xbox 360. But right now, it's time to sink our claws into the demented serial killer thriller, Condemned Criminal Origins. from the bureau will do no good. Someone else killed those policemen. Shot with your weapon. And you will be blamed for their deaths. You are FBI agent Ethan Thomas of the Serial Crimes Division. Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. You work in a crime-ridden city tracking down the worst of the worst. Serial killers. But right now, you've got bigger problems. You've been framed as a cop killer. Oh, and to make matters worse, you go into the game unarmed. You'll have to use improvised weapons as you stalk the city looking for answers. Oh yes, the city's full of them now, Thomas. Addicts, vagrants, psychotic individuals gone terribly bad. They come in all kinds, but mostly violent. Whether you take up a pipe, sledgehammer, two by four, or even a paper cutter, this game requires fast reflexes and an innate dislike of violent psychos. When you're forced to mix it up, blocking is a useful skill. You can initiate a block using the right trigger, but you have to time it perfectly. Offensively, make sure you're using the best weapon by checking the chart at the top of the screen. This compares new weapons to the one in your grip. You can also use the left bumper to tase a bad guy and then move in to finish him off. When you bring an attacker to his knees, you have a choice of four moves. Ram, snap, punch, or slam. Each of these is so rewarding in its own way. And while it's sometimes nice to get your hands dirty, eventually you're gonna want a bang stick. Guns can be taken from vagrants or found in lockers and safes. Carrying a crowbar will help you open stubborn containers. Oh, and make sure you check the magazines of each gun using the Y button, because once you run out of bullets, it's back to the good old hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now, even after you get your bearings in this game, you may still find yourself running in circles. So, as a special gift to you, here's a guide to the game's thorniest choke points. When you're in the library looking for Rosa, finding the entrance to the rare book section is a big time hassle. Next to the gate, you'll find a sledgehammer, but no door. Look to the right of the gate and up, you'll see a bird atop the bookcase. This is a clue. Go to the right and down the aisle. You'll find a ladder with a lock. Use the sledgehammer to break the lock and climb up. Now you can meet up with Rosa. 
Back off, you bastard. Come any closer and I'll rip your head off. Once you enroll in the abandoned school, things get even spookier. Track down the submachine gun, but save it for later. You'll need it to off the crazy lunch lady. When you reach the pool, Agent Thomas will slip into a dream state and find creepy zombie guys attacking from the ceiling. Don't just lie back and watch the show, though. This nightmare can have real-world consequences. Make your way to the shallow end of the pool and grab this gun to mow down anything that comes after you. As always, remember, headshots save ammo. Well, that's just some of this game's trickiest bits. But there's probably one more thing you're wondering about. All the dead birds and metal pieces you're collecting. These items will unlock concept art in the achievements section. And if you find a TV with an Xbox 360, you'll get a reward on your Xbox Live account. This game has tons of hidden treasures, so keep a sharp eye out and backtrack to locked rooms to search for clues. If you find anything particularly awesome, send us an email at cheat at g4tv.com or leave a post on our message boards to tell your fellow cheaters about it. Honor among thieves, you know. It's what's on the inside that counts. You should know that. That's why we're going to take a look at the guts of the Xbox 360 and our part two of our retrospective. Take a look. Armed with the lessons learned with the first Xbox, Microsoft begins to piece together their next console bit by bit. We didn't want to be second to market again. So what that meant to us was that we felt we had to be ready in 2005. It's important for Microsoft to come out first because they want to beat Sony, who's the market leader, two generations in a row. They need every single tool they can use, including an early launch, to get ahead of Sony started working on a 360 plan, putting together the early details, working on what we thought the hardware plan was going to be. It's a really interesting process because you're always balancing this ultimate design that you want to have against technological constraints, schedule constraints. All these things can affect what you can do from a design standpoint. So you look at things and say, well, this is the ultimate experience. And then we go over to the hardware team and they say, oh my goodness, if you do that, that adds two cents. We're like, two cents? Oh, well, two cents times X million is a lot of money. Well, there's some basic features, if you will, that we want in all of the 360 games. High definition games is one of them, for example. Games that look great in 16 by nine, high definition. Games that have full surround 5.1 audio. The HD era, we're really on this, this turning point for the industry. From the 2D to 3D generation of gaming, all sorts of things changed. A lot of rules changed, a lot of the players changed, and obviously the experience of the gamer received changed as well. We're now on the next shift, which is really from 3D to high def. The real key to the system itself is making sure we have a system that's powerful developers to really get to what we call the HD era. We made a decision a while back to really invest in the system memory. And so as a result, developers now have 512 megs of system memory to deal with. Enough memory for them to really deliver a true next generational and high definition experience. Wanted to get a lot more CPU and graphics horsepower. It quickly became clear that to get the level of performance that we needed, NVIDIA and ATI were the two front runners. The big advantage that ATI gave for us is they shared our vision of the HD era. ATI shared that vision of how can we maximize the real performance for real games. We weren't driving toward a spec, we weren't driving toward a marketing campaign. We were driving for how do we make real games as good as they possibly can be. And then once you're ready to go for HD, we're ready there for you because we've got Dolby 5.1, we've got high def, everything's ready to go for you. At the heart of the Xbox 360 are three IBM CPUs that, when combined, are 80 times more powerful than the original Xbox. We picked IBM over a bunch of different suppliers, mainly because of the efficiency of their architecture. By efficiency, I mean trying to cram as much CPU horsepower into a very small package, a very small console. Those were key elements in, in picking IBM. They were willing to work with us in terms of giving us control of our own destiny, in terms of silicon manufacturing, if we can control that. So you want to find a partner who's willing to work with you in that respect. So long-term roadmap, 
partnership, lots of business issues again, but at the, ultimately it was the right partnership for us. Microsoft wants developers to harness all this newfound power as easily as possible. A real asset that we built in Xbox was our partnership with both developers and publishers, something we focused on very early and something historically Microsoft has actually done pretty well. Microsoft's also done a really good job of supporting third-party developers. Ubisoft, THQ, EA, and Activision, and they all have said Microsoft's been really helpful. Also, efforts are redoubled to capture the interest of Japanese game companies. Japanese game developers has been a tough group for us because we haven't been as successful in Japan. But I think we're doing some really smart things now. We're forging some great partnerships with some of the best historical Japanese developers. Sakaguchi-san, as the creator of Final Fantasy, is going to be doing two individual proprietary pieces of intellectual property that will be exclusive for Xbox 360. Mizuguchi-san is one of my favorite developers. We all love things like Space Channel 5 and Rez. And of course, Okamoto-san, most famous for his work on Resident Evil. They've done a good job of getting Japanese developers on board. And through it all, Bill Gates himself keeps tabs on the progress. On Xbox One, I met Bill two times in two different meetings during the course of a, of a four-year program. On Xbox 360, for the first year of the development, we were in the boardroom almost once a month. He was so excited about the product that he just wanted to get involved and wanted to be down here on the Millennium Campus helping us. While Microsoft works on the insides of the new Xbox, it focuses an equal amount of attention on the outside. We thought maybe this could have a hamburger in it, but so we didn't really think that it worked that well. Stay tuned for more of the Next Gen Review Marathon, only on G4. Attention all gamers, X plays in prime time. How can I join in the fun? Join Adam and Morgan for all new episodes featuring live on-screen chat, interactive polls, and video viewer mail. What do you guys think the worst game of all time is? Keep that video viewer mails are coming. Catch an all new X play weeknights at eight, only on G4. Who cried? I did. Not me. It was a sad ending and everything. I just I saw you with your cry. hand in your chin. That's called concentrating on the moment. <laughs> I wasn't crying, okay? I mean, seriously, I don't know why you got The Holiday Miracle Sales Event. No real miracles, just $199 Jettas until January 2nd. Worried about rising monthly payments in your adjustable mortgage? What if you had a mortgage with the option of a low monthly payment and a fixed rate for the life of your loan? Well, at Ditech.com, we have a totally new fixed rate mortgage that enables you to keep your monthly payment low with the security of knowing that your rate will never change. At Ditech, you can feel confident that you're being taken care of every step of the way. Call 1-800-71-FIXED or log on to Ditech.com, a GMAC company. Did you know you can start your own business for less than $25? Do you want to be able to set your own hours, spend more time with the family, finally be your own boss? You can with SMC, a proven system that has helped people start their own business for over 50 years. This past year I did $250,000 in sales. SMC has a huge warehouse with thousands of fast-selling products. As a member, you can order any item at rock bottom prices and sell for profit at up to 300%. I'm grossing about $6,000 in sales a month. Product, you put it out and it's, it sells for itself. And if you ever need any help, you have a direct line to our business counselors whose job is to help you succeed. You start part-time or full-time and this is a proven system that has been working for people all over the country. Start towards a better future today. You have nothing to lose. The call is free and the information is free. Call now for free information. Call 800-341-8270. G4TV.com. It's a whole new way to stay plugged into your world. Get the news you care about most. Streaming videos and more. Go to G4TV.com. Always fresh, always new. You're watching the Next Gen Review Marathon on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360 on G4. We are the number one podcast at Cable Network in America. 
And you can go to iTunes or G4TV.com for details. Now, all night long, we're bringing you live coverage of the launch of Microsoft's next-gen console. And we still have exclusive first-look game trailers and reviews coming up. But right now, we're going live to Jeff Keighley in Seattle. Thank you, Adam. We are here live in Seattle. Now, it's getting colder, but the line is getting even longer. Still more than 400 people in line. Everybody's excited about Xbox 360. What games are you going to get for launch? Uh, Perfect Dark Zero and Call of Duty 2. Good choices. Now, the question is, are any of you guys going to be getting the core system tonight? No, 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 no. They're laughing at me. All right, well, my goal by the end of the night is to walk this line of 400 people and see if I can find one person who's going to buy a core system. You know, we actually do know what you want. And it's actually Xbox 360 footage. You demanding bastards. Well, it's okay. We've got it for you. After the break, plus, what happens when Tony Hawk goes next gen? Well, it's skateboarding action and drunk celebrities. And that's all in just a minute. More 360 launch madness right after this. Only on G4. Viewers agree, it's the show for everything you care about. Kevin is my role model. We have the internet. Olivia equals hot. Get ready to cough, bend over, and let me in your pants. We're going to bring you the latest news, oddities, and things that make you go, yeah. Attack of the show, weeknights at 7, only on G4. Man has always been fascinated with traveling back in time. Well, now Sprint has actually moved the unlimited calling time back two hours from 9 p.m. to 7. It's science fiction meets cold, hard economics. Stupid time machine. Switch to Sprint and get unlimited calls starting at 7 p.m. Sprint. Power up. Now that the holidays are over, hurry into a Sprint store and choose from our newest lineup of slim, stylish phones and give a little something to yourself. Pick up the Red Moto Razor and you can get powerful features like live TV, wireless music downloads, GPS, and the power to give back. Because when you purchase the Red Moto Razor at a Sprint store, a contribution will be made to help eliminate AIDS in Africa. The power to give the ultimate gift. Sprint. Power up. It worked on me, and it worked for a lot of people I know. Proceed works. Attention, men with thinning hair. The pictures you're seeing are of men who used a revolutionary product called Proceed, a newly patented product that requires just one application every 90 days. Imagine going from this to this after your first application. Proceed works by increasing hair shaft diameter. In clinical studies, statistically significant increases in hair shaft diameters were achieved after a single application. And over just a short period of time, Proceed can make your hair thick, strong, and full enough to help diminish the appearance of thinning areas using it just once every 90 days. That's what makes Proceed so different and appealing to busy men. Because it impacts the hair and doesn't fake it out or leave some gel on it to make it look thicker, my hair looks thicker because it is thicker. This is my real hair. That's what's so great about Proceed. Proceed makes you look great with virtually no effort. You gotta try this, guys. Stop the daily regimens. Get off the life sentence of drugs. Get started with Proceed to start looking your best right now. Are the ravages of age on your hair making you look and feel older? Are you less confident in public at the workplace or around women? Are you fed up with daily routines? Well, now you can try Proceed absolutely risk-free. The exact product selling at Giuseppe Franco's of Beverly Hills for $450, yours to try for 90 days. Plus, Proceed will include three free gifts to help your hair look even better. It's volumizing shampoo and conditioner, plus this two-speed scalp massaging brush, altogether a $495 value. Use just one application, wait 90 days, and if you're not 100% satisfied, send back the unused portion for a full refund, but keep the ProVibe brush plus the shampoo and conditioner as your gift for trying. Proceed. We're the one. Just one application every 90 days. Operators are standing by, so have your credit card ready to order right now. It did exactly what it promised. What happens when you take 12 snowboarding animals and force them to work in the same hotel? <laughs> the Block. Series premiere January 15th at 10, only on G4. Welcome back to the Next Gen Review on G4.
welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360, the event that whips the Microsoft fanboys into a latte like foam. All night long, we'll be showing you exclusive trailers, cheats, and footage from next gen games. But right now, we have celebrities because people like them. We sent Attack of the Show Sarah Lane, the dark lord of celebrity interviews, to the 360's VIP release party. So I'm at this fabulous Xbox 360 party in the Hollywood Hills. Everybody who's here is rich and famous and gorgeous. Celebrities have it all. And when they leave here tonight, they're actually all gonna get free Xbox 360s. Hmm, seems fair. Look at you, looking all hot out of yeah, the studio right, off the couch. Right. What have you been doing since Euphoria? What Playing have games? I been doing since Euphoria? <laughs> Working my ass off. What you been doing? Eh, nothing really. So Transformers, um, who's going to play Optimus Prime? I have no idea. No? No idea. All right. Way too early. I revealed in front of you that I had crabs. Everybody in the world knew. I know. You've got that out of me. So what is played on the tour bus the most these days? Gosh, I think it's, it's a lot of football. Mm -hmm. A lot of football going on. So what game are you looking forward to playing first on the 360? We'll see what Madden look like. I'm, I'm looking forward for the Madden. Madden. <laughs> oh, six. I'm a huge Star Wars Galaxy fan. Um, well, I'm glad I, you admitted Star Wars Galaxy because everybody else says, you know, it's Madden 2006. That's bull crap. Do you ever go into like the first person shooters? You ever play any of the online games? I ain't really good at that. I know how to shoot people in real life. I don't know how to really do it in a video game. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, check. Fergie, check. Paris Hilton, uh, next time maybe. Paris, 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 Madden or Battlefront? Now across the nation in New York, Cheats Kristen Holt is bringing us exclusive tips and tricks from Tony Hawk's <laughs> next gen title, American Wasteland. Yeah! Anyone came on their skateboard, but if you want to be a pro skater, you're going to need these exclusive cheats for Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Okay, Cheetoids, it's time to grab your skateboard and BMX bike to seek sponsorship in the Great American Wasteland, aka Los Angeles. As a young punk questing for respect in the City of Angels, it's going to take you a long time to learn the ins and outs of the skate scene. Locals only. Fortunately for you, we have a few friends in high places who've agreed to help us out with a few tasty codes. Listen, come here. I'll show you a few places you should check out. From the main menu, scroll down and select options. On the options screen, click cheat codes and enter the password. Remember, these codes are case sensitive, so neatness counts. When you nail the code, you'll hear this sound. To play as legendary BMX pioneer Matt Hoffman, enter the password, The Condor. Matt may have earned his props on a bike, but you'll find he knows his way around with a skateboard, too. Now, whether you play as Matt or another skater, this next code will give you the skills to pay the feel. At the cheat code screen, enter the word Grind Expert to unlock Perfect Rail. Pause the game, go to Options, then Cheats, and you can turn the code on or off. Perfect Rail helps you keep your balance when you grind a tightrope. Just remember, spell the codes exactly as we show them to you. To have perfect manuals, type in the word two wheels with an exclamation point at the end. Now you'll pull off perfect manuals every time. This trick may seem basic, but it's a great and easy way to earn points. And finally, let's say you need to be across town, but don't feel like skating there. This code's better than the bus. At the cheat screen, enter in hitch a ride. This is one word and all the I's should be replaced with exclamation points. I guess that makes it more exciting. Anyway, now you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Cheating, it's the only way to travel. Now. Since I know you didn't pay attention to the proper spellings of these codes, we've recapped them for you at g4tv.com slash cheat. 
Later, skaters. More Next Gen Madness right after this, only on G4. The young man. You're watching the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to our countdown to Xbox 360, where we are literally counting down to the next generation of gaming. As you can see, this isn't a drill. This isn't a dress rehearsal. People are excited. Count your next gen eggs. They're gonna hatch tonight. The waiting's worth it. The waiting is worth it. All right, now if there's one thing the 360 and I have in style, obviously, well, it's, it's a common thread. We are, we are very much so all about the style. Look at the jacket. It's expensive, folks. And that's what part three of our retrospective is going to focus on, the style of the Xbox 360, how Microsoft went from big, black, and blocky with the Xbox to slim, ivory, and sleek with the 360. The Xbox 360 is shaping up to be a gaming powerhouse, and Microsoft wants to make sure that its new system's appearance reflects its amazing abilities. We started with this guy, which was a really wonderful box. It worked really well, but let's just say it, it needed a little more love in terms of, of design aesthetic. So we thought, well, where can we go with this? If we think about Japan and some of the issues we've had in Japan as regards the inability of us really to get going, quite frankly, one of the core issues has been the design of the current Xbox. That system was gigantic. It was heavy and it didn't appeal to anybody but Americans and a few Europeans. It was way too big for the Japanese market and Microsoft tanked in Asia. Tanked! I mean, they didn't sell badly, they sold horribly. So the criteria I laid out for the brand team at that time was, you know, we have got to be able to satisfy the Japanese gamer. We actually looked at five different design companies from around the world. It narrowed down to two companies. One was Astro in San Francisco, and another one is hers in Osaka. Got to a point where designs were going back and forth between hers and Astro. And so they started playing with, what's the button going to look like? What happens when you actually have enough ports for gameplay and, and all those kind of things. And so it started really drawing in. The design of the box and the form factor that we ultimately landed on is always a, a trade-off between mechanical constraints being thermal and physical constraints versus industrial design. It's, it's very similar to an architect and a civil engineer building a skyscraper. The best looking design may not be able to be built. The most robust design may be very straightforward, ugly, not the type of thing you'd want to actually build. What we wanted was this breathe-in quality, where it breathes in. You get this sense of power as though you're in the blocks and starting a race, or the analogy was Bruce Lee pulling back to do a punch. On one end of the spectrum, if you make the box too small, you end up with a box that is too hot, too loud, with the fans having to, to churn a lot of air through that box to cool it off, too high of a cost in miniaturization cost. The other end of the spectrum, if you build only a mechanical design solution, you end up with a very large, ugly box. It may be quiet, but it's not aesthetically pleasing. We did user studies. We went through around the world, Germany, France, England, United States, parts of Asia, talked to different designers, talked to different gamers, and said, you know, what are you interested in, and it started taking shape. We kind of had some interesting changes here. This one came from Japan, and it had a very nice pillowy feature to it and had the handle. Again, it was not a practical box. Really, what we were trying to do is see what people responded to. It really ran the gamut. I mean, you, you got this kind of guy, which uh, has some nice features on it in terms of the chrome and all that but it's still pretty boxy and might look like someone else you might know. This came from a, a very high-end designer. We thought maybe it could have a hamburger in it, but so we didn't really think that it worked that well. Oop, look at that. There were some sleek designs too that brought in things like glass textures, and these are really explorations. So what you will see is somewhat concave. It has what we call the iconic gesture. That gesture is... Iconic enough that makes it distinctive, but not too bold and brash that will make it look, if you will, out of fashion after a couple of years. And what we ended up with was this design. And you can see there's a lot of what was here 
has been incorporated into the final design. You get the gesture, you get the breathe in, you get a design aesthetic that is more appealing to a wider audience. You get some of the chrome and some of the finer lines, the organic lines, but there's still an architectural quality about it and a simple quality that allows you to really get a sense that, that this is a, a high quality machine. You can see the difference between the two. A few finishing touches round out the final package. You'll be able to take the faceplate off and snap on a faceplate either absolutely personalized to what you want to do. This is our favorite feature too, is that we have the ring of light. It's the thing that tells you how many controllers are actually attached to the system. And you see that this is in the upper left position. Okay, you ready for this big move? All right, ready, here we go. So it's in position one now. Look at that, ooh! An equal amount of care is given to the design of the Xbox 360 controller. So the areas where we put lots and lots of energy into this is the gamepad itself. People are gonna be holding this for hours on end, playing games, playing different types of games that use the control sets in different ways. We did tons and tons of user testing, and we went through all kinds of iterations, some of them even laughable, like this one. And what we did is we, we actually tried different sizes and shapes. So you kind of go, oh, is that, how's that feel? We need to pass this around a whole basket full of these and go, how's that feel in your hand? Oh, I don't know, that feels pretty good. And then you hand it to somebody else and they go, no, that doesn't feel good. One of the key elements to making the console as unique as it is, is the decision to go wireless on the game pads. The Xbox 360 controller is not a revolutionary controller. It's an evolutionary controller. Microsoft took the basic shape of the S controller from the Xbox and refined it and polished it and crafted it to a much more ergonomically fit controller. It's lighter. It's very sturdy. It feels good in your hands. But no matter how well designed a controller is, no matter how slick a console looks, it all comes down to the games, and Microsoft knows it. The shape of the new Xbox is definitely a huge leap forward from its monolithic predecessor. I must say that the power adapter for this thing is enormous. It is the Godzilla of wall plugs. Yeah, it's jaw-droppingly large. But the design of the 360 means nothing unless you have something compelling to play on it. We'll have great game reviews later in the show. But up next, more Zero Hour, more Xbox 360, more us. But don't let that keep you from watching. Please. More about the Xbox 360 right after this, only on G4. January 15th. Engage. Star Trek The Next Generation goes interactive. <laughs> Upgraded with 22 new stocks and all new facts and stats. Resistance is futile. Star Trek TNG 2.0. Premieres January 15th at 9. You will be assimilated. Only on G4. Game shown, let it mature. Game Tap offers you hundreds of the greatest video games, including Far Cry, Prince of Persia, and Silent Hill. And now your first month is just 99 cents. Go to GameTap.com. GameTap offers you hundreds of the greatest video games, including Sam and Max and Mist Online Uru Live. And now your first month is just 99 cents. Go to GameTap.com. Some games rated EDT, not all games rated by the ESRB. This town is not big enough for the two of us. Hold on there, cowboy. I show comparison rates from other insurance companies and... That's great. Insurance has them too. Can you also buy the policy? Does not compute. At Insurance, if we can't give you the best deal, we'll show you where you can and help you buy the policy right away. Oh. Looks like the competition couldn't handle insurance. Need a ride? Sure. Quote and compare. Save on auto insurance at insurance.com today. Beginning this January, watch live PGA Tour coverage on the Golf Channel. Starting with the season opening Mercedes-Benz Championship, where Tiger Woods will be aiming for his seventh straight PGA Tour victory. But Stuart Appleby has a streak of his own. He's won the last three years in Maui. One streak will end, guaranteed. Watch all four rounds of the Mercedes-Benz Championship starting January 4th on the Golf Channel. Ugh, 
You've got to get a better job. <laughs> Fat chance, not without a degree. How can I get a degree? I'd have to quit this lousy job to go back to school. Hi. Helen, I earned my degree online while I was in your job. Stop by my office. <laughs> Getting my degree online was a great experience, but finding the right school was a nightmare. Now it's so easy, thanks to Education Connections Free Service. Give them a try. What have you got to lose? You just fill out a simple profile online or on the phone. We search our database of hundreds of accredited schools and thousands of online degree programs, selecting only those that offer financial aid to qualified students. Then, like a magnet, your profile attracts the choices that are the best match for you. With so many opportunities available, Education Connection makes finding the right school easy. Let Education Connection find the right school for you. It's free, so call 800-368-8214 or log on to 54edconnection.com now. You're watching the Next Gen Review Marathon on G4. We're live at Microsoft's exclusive zero hour launch event in the Mojave Desert. But as you can see by the little clock in the corner of your screen, we are getting closer and closer to the sale of the first Xbox 360. And as soon as that little puppy is wrapped in the arms of an adoring fanboy, we'll bring you reviews of some of the biggest titles in the Xbox 360's launch lineup. Condemned, Madden, Project Gotham Racing 3, and many, many more. Will one of them be the killer app Microsoft is hoping for? Well, we'll tell you. But right now, we're going back to the East Coast and she's Kristen Holt. Take it away, Kristen. Yes, I'm here and it's freezing cold and it's raining, but I don't care because I'm here for the Xbox 360 and so are all these people behind me. They just got moved to the front of the store, like from around the block to the front of the store, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but any movement is good movement for these people there. That's much closer to the Xbox 360. But right now, let's talk about games. I'm talking about Cameo, Elements of Power, and in this game, you gotta fight a lot of bad guys, and I'm gonna show you how to beat one of the big ones. Cameo was bestowed with the fabled transformation magic. But her sister's jealousy released a dark shadow from our pasts. Cameo, Elements of Power, presents a new take on sibling rivalry when the title character's sister enslaves Cameo's clan. Damn! I hate it when giant trolls hide behind doors. Talk about knocking the wind out of you. As a result, she loses her ability to transform into the different elemental warriors. For a minute, it seems evil Sis has won the day, but in a stirring display of moxie, Cameo vows to travel to the Shadow Realms to recover her monster mojo. As you guide Cameo through her quest, you'll quickly discover each of her transformations has its own attributes. Matching the warriors to the situation becomes increasingly important as you battle the trolls and other assorted baddies. To max your monster mash, collect these large fruits. Gather enough of these delectable treats and you'll add a special ability to any one of your elementals. Upgrading your alter egos will be crucial once you start staring down some of the game's heavier hitters. Like, for example, this menacing fellow. And speaking of daunting foes, one of Cameo's colder-hearted enemies is the Ice Monster. He may look big and stupid, but believe me, he'll deep freeze you faster than you can say, Chill out! Hey, don't say I didn't warn you. As I said before, your various elemental transformations have different effects on your enemies. Finding the right form for the right fight is the best part of the game. For this boss battle, summon Chilla and 40 Below as your allies. Then use Chilla's eye spikes to poke your enemy in the eye. If you draw blood, Mr. Bad Guy will start spewing out tiny green eyeballs. Now, transform into 40 Below and use his spin attack on the little fellows and wish them a happy landing as you tornado them off the cliff. 
Once you take out the last little one, Ice Boss will show up looking for revenge. Use both Chilla and 40 Below's attacks again, and if you're low on health, make sure you take out the icicles he throws at you for some extra hearts. When his health depletes sufficiently, Ice Monster will start attacking you directly. You can minimize damage by turning into Cameo to avoid his offensive barrage. Once he's winded, aim for his final eye with Chilla's Ice Spikes and avoid his final attack. Then bounce the big eye off the cliff with 40 below. <laughs> and release Uncle Yeros from his icy prison. Now you learned how to battle your way through Cameo, but will you actually want to buy it? We'll tell you when we unveil our launch title reviews later in the show. The man Louis the 14th is all that noise that's behind me. And it's only going to get louder, because up next we have a preview of the explosive new driving game Full Auto, a look at NBA 2K6, and tips and tricks for Amp 3. Plus the sale of the very first Xbox 360, and more exclusive trailers when we come back. Stay tuned for more of the Next Gen Review Marathon, only on G4. What happens when you take a pack of renegade snowboarders? Dude, why aren't you looking? And force them to work and live in Tahoe's dopest hotel? Party as much as you want, bring the girls, don't trash my place. My boyfriend is very worried and concerned about me working here. Why are you being such a Introducing The Block, series premiere January 15th at 10. Only on G4. Look closely as this World Trade Center commemorative proof transforms into a breathtaking standing sculpture of the Twin Towers. It is entirely clad in 24 karat gold and in .999 pure silver, actually recovered from vaults beneath the ashes of Ground Zero. The gleaming Twin Towers actually rise up like hope from the shadow of Ground Zero over the shining city. To mark the fifth anniversary of September 11th, National Collector's Mint has authorized a private non-monetary minting that will never be released for circulation. But it is available now through this special offer for collectors only. New York City shines in frosted relief against a mirror surface with our promise we will never forget. Then, in a second distinct striking, the stunning skyline of the Twin Towers is inset with jeweler precision, able to rise up into a breathtaking standing sculpture. On the reverse, the proud eagle proclaims, God bless America, wings spread under the five stars that mark each year since 9-11. To honor all who were lost that fateful day, $5 of every proof order is donated to official 9-11 family charities and memorials. This could be the most meaningful collectible you will ever own. Our fifth anniversary tribute proof is clad in 15 milligrams each of 24 karat gold and .999 pure silver. Priceless silver recovered from the heart of Ground Zero. The final edition price was to be set at $49, but during this special release, it can be yours for just $29.95. Each comes with a certificate of authenticity confirming its Ground Zero recovery content. When the shrinking supply of silver from Ground Zero is finished, this striking will end forever. So there is a strict limit of five per order. Don't miss out on this historic offer. Call now. Call 1-800-330-6572. That's 1-800-330-6572. Strict limit of five commemoratives per caller at 1-800-330-6572. Are you a movie freak? Do you like cool tech toys? Well, this holiday, come to Vongo.com. For about 10 bucks a month, you and your family get unlimited movie downloads. So you can watch your movies at home, on the road, or anywhere else. And with the right cable, you can plug into just about any TV. Now this holiday, give yourself and your family the gift of unlimited movie downloads. Anywhere with Vongo. Video on the go. Welcome back to the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360, the loudest place on Earth. Louis XIV is playing in the background, 
and the night is just getting started. If you're just joining us, I'm X-Play's Adam Sessler. Next to me is the dynamic and blessedly nerdy Morgan Webb. Now tonight we're bringing you live coverage of Microsoft's exclusive Zero Hour launch event in the Mojave Desert. Plus, we're telling you everything you need to know about the Xbox 360 before it hits store shelves in less than an hour. We've got previews, cheats, exclusive interviews, and never before seen world premiere trailers. And later, once the first Xbox has been sold, we'll be bringing you in-depth reviews of the biggest launch titles. And while we've seen new editions of existing games made specifically for the 360, we're very happy to report that there are plenty of originals in the 360 launch lineup, too. Like Full Auto. Now, we first played Sega's combustible racing game at E3, but now we've actually got our hands on it. Here's our explosive preview. Tired of changing the camera to shave a half second off your lap time? Wish you had a racing game to let you smash up spoilers instead of buying them? Can you say car porn? This is full auto for the Xbox 360. Where else can you lay this many patches? Like burnout before it, full auto generally in encourages crashing instead of asking you to avoid it. But you still have to finish first, so the game provides a unique twist that even Cher would be proud of. The ability to turn back time. Didn't hit that ramp just right? Find yourself careening into the side of a building? Just rewind and make it right. You can't rewind constantly, though. To build your rewind meter, you must cause destruction. And even though it's still in development, no other racing game lets you do that like Full Auto. Starting to understand the car porn tag? There are three different car classes, plus a boss class for a total of around 20 rides. Each is rated in durability, handling, and speed, and can be mounted with both front and rear weapons. All the weapons can be upgraded for more powerful attacks, and each has unlimited ammo with a cooldown period. But we're partial to the rocket. get all the usual race types, including point-to-point, -point, lap knockout, and circuit run. But no matter what type of race you're in, Full Auto is just flat-out fun. Four different views provide plenty of speed thrills. And like any good porn, it lets you burn plenty of rubber. The boost meter is governed by how many slides, jumps, and stunts you pull off. The 15 different tracks leave you free to take more shortcuts than a Louisiana levy contractor. And the one-touch replay mode allows you to relive your best moments on the fly. Full Auto will ship for the Xbox 360 in the coming months. And just in case you still don't know what we mean by car porn, here's some more vehicular intercourse. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, mm hmm yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Wow, you sounded like the uh, creepiest herbal essence commercial of all time. Come on, I've been watching Credit Week's crash a lot lately. Okay, well, don't let this guy creep you out. Uh, when we come well. back, we have something for the sports fans as we preview NBA 2K6. Plus, cheats for a next-gen snowboarding game. And in a few minutes, Zero Hour takes off with the sale of the first Xbox 360. Well, this is Stacy Q, and she doesn't have a thing to do. She comes to my house, so let's keep up between me and you. More 360 launch madness right after this, only on G4. The young male brain comprised of two distinct sectors. This half, the technology. This half, the 
the pleasure center. Obsessed with getting your noodle in the shoulder. For two days, G4 brings you gadgets and girls. January 11th, go inside the Consumer Electronics Show and see the future of tech. Then on January 12th, stimulate those pleasure centers at the Adult Entertainment Expo. G4 presents CES and AEE January 11th and 12th at 9 p.m. Balance your brain with G4. The storm is coming. Storm Launcher, the insane all-terrain vehicle from Air Hogs, dominates any terrain in its path. Blazing speed on concrete, grass, sand, even snow. And it flies. Storm Launcher rips from land to water and up to the skies. This is the only RC that does it all. Storm Launcher jumps over obstacles. It loops. It banks. It even goes upside down. It's a boat. It's a plane. It's the insane all-terrain Storm Launcher. Now you've got the power and you're in control. Three-channel remote has beginner and pro settings. Train in beginner and then shock your friends in pro mode. Rip across any terrain. Then toggle up and Storm Launcher rockets into the air. Drifting turns. Wild jumps. Go from land to water and then take it to the skies. Awesome aerial stunts are amazing. With Storm Launcher, now you can fly without wings and drive without wheels. And Airhog's unique supercharged LiPo power pack gives you advanced battery technology for longer flights and multiple landings. On this special TV offer, you can get Storm Launcher with the LiPo battery, the AC charger, the advanced controller, removable propeller guards, even backup propellers and a mounting tool. And as part of this special promotion, we'll also include our brand new Airhog's flight simulator that you can use on your PC for even more flying adventures. Other RC planes that fly like this can cost hundreds of dollars, but you can get the all-terrain Storm Launcher for three payments of $39.95. Storm Launcher is the only RC that does it all. It's a boat. It's a plane. It's the insane all-terrain Storm Launcher from Air Hawks. Must be 18 years or older to call or log on. Here's how you can order. To order your Storm Launcher, call 1-800-930-6129. That's 1-800-930-6129. Remember, you'll get the Storm Launcher for three payments of $39.95. So call 1-800-930-6129. That's 1-800-930-6129. You must be 18 or older to order. has a new address. A place where bad things don't just happen at night. The best horror, the most deranged killers, all just waiting for you. To get there, go to FearNet on your on-demand menu. Come on, what are you afraid of? Do you want to own a brand new computer and improve your credit at the same time? If you have less than perfect credit, bad credit, or no credit at all, and want to improve your credit, Guaranteed Consumer Funding can assist you in obtaining the high quality computer you want and need, while at the same time help you build or rebuild your credit. Here's how it works. Bad credit? No credit. No problem. There's no credit check, so you will not be turned down. If you have a checking or savings account and can afford weekly payments of just $29.99, then you are already approved for a brand new Dell, HP, or other name brand computer. Guaranteed. So give us a call now to have your brand new computer shipped right to you. And we'll add over $700 in premiums and upgrades and an MP3 player for free. And with select models, we'll throw in a free printer. Give us a call today to get the computer of your dreams and we'll help you get back on track to improving your credit. Guaranteed Consumer Funding, your credit solution for quality electronics. You're watching the Next Gen Review on G4. Your shiny new Xbox 360. And yes, 
it does look that good. To the rim! Now, the obvious upgrade on the 360 is a graphical one. We can't overstate how crisp this game looks. From the realistic cloth movement on the players' jerseys, to the fully rendered crowd, to the sweat glistening on Shaq's enormous head, no detail is too small for this game. Hammered in by Shaq. For example, this basketball is made up of three trillion polygons. Okay, not really, but it does look very nice. If there's one downside to the improved graphics, it's that we can see announcer Craig Sager's terrible wardrobe even more clearly. Ugh, it looks like he's been dressed by Louis Braille. For the fellas, the added detail lets you admire cheerleaders in all their high-resolution glory. But there's some other stuff we could live without seeing. You know, is that butt sweat? Too much realism, guys. Also, not all of the players look better on the 360. Chris Kamen, for instance, looks like a monster. Ah, Kamen smash! The presentation also receives a boost on the 360. Each game is framed with pitch-perfect production value. And without further ado, it looks like we're setting up for the tip-off. This title is so much fun to watch, you might forget there's a game you have to play. The color commentary during the matchups is also spot on. They're hoping to set the tone with that first basket. Much like real-life sports, the game is bloated with product placement. Let's take a look at the first half with our Power Bar Triple Threat Halftime Report. With that in mind, it's time for Unfortunate moments in sponsored basketball video game history. The Double Dribble Halftime Report, sponsored by New Coke. NBA Jam, brought to you by Crystal Pepsi. And from the makers of Space Jam, Space Jam. So many regrets. In addition to the core game, the funky Road to the EBC mode is back. You can practice free throws, manage your career, and play street hoops hey, against other ballers. Time to see what you made of, baller. The street settings definitely have a less than authentic feel to them. For example, check out Albuquerque's court. It's like Deadwood meets the Basketball Diaries. But you've got to admire a game that finds a way to incorporate rapper slash reality TV star Flava Flav. Flav up Flav. Oh, he was on the third floor for that one. Love the helmet. Character customization makes a full court press in NBA 2K6. You can choose your own headband, elbow pads, and of course, awful haircuts. You can even create your own Adam Sessler clone. Of course, there are some differences. Video game Adam loves attention. Real life Adam has an attention deficit disorder. Video game Adam comes dressed to impress. Real life Adam wears dresses. Video game Adam has sweet moves. Oh, look out! Real life Adam, well, you get the idea. We've got our Reebok pumps fully inflated in anticipation of NBA 2K6. Oh my, that was incredible! Find out if it's worth the excitement when the Xbox 360 launches. They're playing with confidence and their offense is just flowing. actually looks real, though I could do without the lovingly rendered sweat. NBA 2K6 is probably the most realistic sports title we've seen so far in the 360, with men in super shiny helmets ready a semi-close second. However, we look forward to the first next-gen hockey game. That way we can see photorealistic fistfights, photorealistic Canadians, and photorealistic viewer apathy. And if you are becoming apathetic, the lovely Chris and Holt were going to snap you out of it. Kristen? Thank you guys so much. We're still outside the Best Buy in Midtown. And let me tell you what, it is already winter here in New York City. And i got to give you a little fashion tip that I've learned since I've been here. Cheating is in this season. And you're definitely going to need these cheat codes to get down the mountain in Amp 3. What sport allows you to freeze and bust your ass at the same time? Snowboarding, of course. And since not everyone has mountain adjacency, this winter, we're boarding Xbox 360 style. In Amp 3, there's a lot more to snowboarding than just zooming down a mountain. That's still a major part of the fun, but there are alternatives. One new feature is sledding. I know, for many of you, this conjures up images of being mummified in winter coats and careening into a tree. But in this game, the sleds are a bit different. For one thing, there are 17 to choose from. And for another, they range from the <clears throat> ever-stable rocket dish 
to the nut-cracking rocking horse. Take a ride and watch the ragdoll physics fly. Another way to get from the top to the bottom of the mountain is the hang glider. This is a great way to travel. Plus, all you guys can scope out all the snow bunnies. Here I go, here I go, yeah. So, how do you get these fresh rides? Well, you could earn them like a normal person, or you could cheat. If you don't want to cheat, go ahead and change the channel now. Everyone still here? I thought so. Okay, here are the keys to the car. First, from the main menu, select Options, then Cheat Codes. Enter right trigger, X, left trigger, down, right, left bumper, left trigger, right trigger, Y, and X. Now hit A to activate it, and it's, gentlemen, start your engines. But first we gotta kill it at the competition. I'm gonna blow up like nuclear fission. Right now, we get a look at some of those titles with Attack of the Show's internet poster boy, Kevin Ferreira. This is what it's all about, folks. The Xbox 360. Anybody want this one by any chance? Yeah! High definition graphics, full surround sound, all the bells and whistles. But what good is all that if you don't have any games? Well, that's the question we're going to answer in the final chapter of our Xbox 360 special. We're going to take a look at the launch lineup of titles. And, of course, we'll see what's cooking with the new Xbox Live service. Microsoft knows that having a solid launch lineup can play a big role in the success of the Xbox 360. And that's why it's pulling out the big guns. The world's best game creators are building experiences on our console that satisfy gamers and actually reflect the change that our industry and that the consumers are facing right now. There's no super stinkers out there. You've got four games from Activision, all pretty hefty games. They're all franchise games except for Gun. You've got a bunch of EA games, all franchise games, Madden, Tiger Woods, FIFA, all that, that really show off the Xbox 360's power. Well, I think the, the key is going to be the games. And when we look at uh, what we have on Slate for the launch window, finally, Rare in the UK uh, will come to bear on this platform. Perfect Dark Zero will be in the launch window. The GoldenEye team have been working on Perfect Dark Zero now for close to three years. The other thing about the launch is that Microsoft's three games, Cameo, Elements of Power, Perfect Dark Zero, and Project Gotham Racing 3, are all some of the best games on the system in terms of both playability and graphics. Gamers get a glimpse of the new system and its games at E3 and X05. At E3, we showed some games. Uh, they were okay, but it was early development, early hardware. X05 was really our coming out party. We wanted to show people what great games we're going to have on the platform at launch. When we came to X05, we were relieved, happy, satisfied that these games actually were going to come through. This was going to be a good launch after all. Turning on the Xbox 360 reveals plenty of new features, including a major upgrade to Xbox Live. So, to start off the experience, we've got this new great button. It's the Xbox Guide button. It not only helps you get through your overall experience on the gaming system, but it also allows you to turn on the system. There are four blades. There's a live blade, games, media, and system. If you're hooked up to live, the blade that'll default is the live blade, and it gives you all the access to your message center, to your friends, and also to Marketplace. And Marketplace is a place where you'll be able to download new gamer pictures, new tracks, different themes that go with your face plates, or just themes in general. On the games blade, you have the ability to look at your achievements, how many games you've played. The media blade gives you access to all of your digital entertainment. You have access to music. So you can hook in an iRiver, also, you can plug in a camera, set up a slideshow, play music over it. In Xbox Live now, we create what we call Gamer Zones. In Gamer Zones, you can kind of place yourself where you want to be on the spectrum of gamers. So if you're just kind of a recreational gamer, we have a Gamer Zone called Recreation. But if you're a really hardcore gamer and you really like to play hard and you want to win that world championship, you know, we have Pro. When the Xbox 360 launches on November 22, 2005, Microsoft tries a new approach to pricing. So there are two versions of the Xbox 360 product. The first version is the Xbox 360 Core System, which is 
a low cost value system that allows people to get into the product, plays every game, loses no long term features. You can upgrade to the core system to the full 360 system at any time through aftermarket accessories. The Xbox 360 system, on the other hand, was optimized to have everything you need out of the box for a great gaming experience. It's optimized for high definition for the hard drive, for Xbox Live, with all the cables and connections you need, wireless connectivity with wireless game pads. So that's the system where the highest value is packed into that system for the gamer that wants the ultimate next generation experience. For the first time ever, a console will ship in all three major markets of the world in the same holiday. So you will see North America, quickly followed by Europe, and then followed by Japan. As the Xbox 360 takes its first steps into the world, Microsoft is already preparing for the future. The 360's primary upgrade path is the software architecture that we've designed. It's designed to be scalable and upgradable. On the hardware space, because we designed a, a console that had a flexible architecture, for example, the PCI Express bus exists on the motherboard. So doing a derivative motherboard and a derivative product where we wanted to add features would be very easy for us to do. That's the interesting thing about this business, is the finish line is the beginning uh, in, in many, many ways. Once it gets out there, people are going to take control of it and the community will start driving it. And they'll grow it and build it and they'll turn it into something that none of us expected. Yeah, we're going after people. People on Earth is our market. Our strategy is to provide a great platform for game creators to do their best work. It's that simple. Obviously, they want to do well with the system. They want to hammer Sony in all of its sell points. They want to kick their ass in online. They want to kick their ass in the interface. They want to have a bunch of great games. They want to get out there a year ahead of them and really, really take it to Sony. They want to be first. They want to be the number one console maker in the market. I'm really excited about seeing the launch. It's been over three years focusing on this product. And to look back at early slide decks, PowerPoint vision of what the product could be three years ago to what we actually are delivering now, we got to 99% of that original vision, which is amazing to me. Well, you don't have to wait any longer for the launch of the 360 because it's coming up after the break. Yay! Whew. More Next Gen Madness right after this. Only on G4. January 15th. Engage. Star Trek The Next Generation goes interactive. Ah! Upgraded with 22 new stocks and all new facts and stats. Ah! Resistance is futile. Star Trek TNG 2.0. Premieres January 15th at 9. You will be assimilated. Only on G4. Brought to you by Verizon Wireless. Introducing Envy from Verizon Wireless, a phone, camera, multimedia center with full keyboard for instant messaging, exclusively from Verizon Wireless. All flights have been canceled. Oh no, the kids! This holiday. Santa's never gonna find me here. Five children. I can't let my sister think Santa forgot her. Will discover the true meaning of Christmas. Oh, yeah. Unaccompanied minors. Rated PG. Now playing. Are you a homeowner with a first mortgage, second mortgage, auto loans, student loans, or credit card debt? Well, would you like to consolidate your debts into one low monthly payment? Just call or log on to Ditech.com and refinance to a low fixed rate with a lender you can trust. With Ditech, you can feel confident that you're being taken care of every step of the way. Call us now at 1-800-71-FIXED or log on to Ditech.com, a GMAC company. Man, my cell phone was way too boring. It was just blah, blah, blah. It was making me crazy. And then I found Playphone. They call themselves Playphone. This dude told me about Playphone. It's an amazing deal. 10 downloads for just $9.99. 10 downloads for just $9.99. 10 downloads for just $9.99. Now, I'm hearing real music tones. Not that beeping stuff. Beep, beep, beep. Finally, real music tones. And games. 
lots and lots of games. I didn't know there were so many games. Games? Over the top. And wallpaper. It's a total trip. Maybe I'll go psychedelic. No. It was easy. I just sent the keyword by text message. And you choose your downloads right from your phone. Real music tones. Wallpaper. Games, games, and more games. Ten downloads from Playphone for just $9.99. It's incredible. Ten downloads for just $9.99. Are you listening? Ten downloads for just $9.99. Give it a try. You should try it. Play now at Playphone. Welcome back to the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to the awesome magnitude that is Countdown to Xbox 360. This event is jaw-droppingly large and jaw-droppingly loud, but it means nothing unless you have something compelling to play on your brand new Xbox 360. Well, right now we have another exclusive world premiere trailer of one of those games. Here's everyone's first look at... Naked humanoids running down hallways. It never gets old. It sure doesn't. Well, the moment you've been waiting for is after the break. That's right. Up next, the Xbox 360 makes a grand entrance. Ba -dum, dum, dum, dum. It's a grand entrance, right? More about the Xbox 360 right after this, only on G4. What happens when you take a pack of renegade snowboarders? Dude, why aren't you looking? And force them to work and live in Tahoe's dopest hotel? Party as much as you want, bring the girls, don't trash my place. My boyfriend is very worried and concerned about me working here. Why are you being such a Introducing The Block, series premiere January 15th at 10. Only on G4. Introducing Envy from Verizon Wireless, a phone, camera, multimedia center with full keyboard for instant messaging, exclusively from Verizon Wireless. Just gives me the feeling like she's not like listening to me. Have you tried not saying like every other word? What? Remember your ski trip story? Yeah. I was like going down the hill and like there was a crowd no, and like come on, that's and not I was me. like stuff either happens or it doesn't. <laughs> Holy. The Holiday Miracle Sales Event. No real miracles, just 199 Jettas until January 2nd. It worked on me, and it worked for a lot of people I know. Proceed works. Attention, men with thinning hair. The pictures you're seeing are of men who used a revolutionary product called Proceed, a newly patented product that requires just one application every 90 days. Imagine going from this to this after your first application. Proceed works by increasing hair shaft diameter. In clinical studies, statistically significant increases in hair shaft diameters were achieved after a single application. And over just a short period of time, Proceed can make your hair thick, strong, and full enough to help diminish the appearance of thinning areas using it just once every 90 days. That's what makes Proceed so different and appealing to busy men. Because it impacts the hair and doesn't fake it out or leave some gel on it to make it look thicker, my hair looks thicker because it is thicker. This is my real hair. That's what's so great about Proceed. 
Proceed makes you look great with virtually no effort. You gotta try this, guys. Stop the daily regimens. Get off the life sentence of drugs. Get started with Proceed to start looking your best right now. Are the ravages of age on your hair making you look and feel older? Are you less confident in public at the workplace or around women? Are you fed up with daily routines? Well, now you can try Proceed absolutely risk-free. The exact product selling at Giuseppe Franco's of Beverly Hills for $450, yours to try for 90 days. Plus, Proceed will include three free gifts to help your hair look even better. It's volumizing shampoo and conditioner, plus this two-speed scalp massaging brush, altogether a $495 value. Use just one application, wait 90 days, and if you're not 100% satisfied, send back the unused portion for a full refund, but keep the ProVibe brush plus the shampoo and conditioner as your gift for trying. Proceed. We're the one. Just one application every 90 days. Operators are standing by, so have your credit card ready to order right now. It did exactly what it promised. You're watching the Next Gen Review Marathon on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360. Any moment now, the caravan carrying a load of brand spanking new Xbox 360s will be making its way into this massive airplane hangar. It seems strange that there's going to actually be a caravan of trucks that are going to make their way into the airplane yeah, hangar. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty people. crowded place. Yes, and everybody has their little um, the little bean marshmallow pod. Yes, everybody was passed a little marshmallow beanbag pod, so you can sit around it's this big airplane hangar. You see everybody with them. Everyone's planted an, them down, and they're waiting in this massive line. They're lined they're, up all the way around. It's just and, and there, there's a sense of exhaustion yet. There is. Patient, I think we can say. Because this is what everybody's been actually waiting for, and they know that they can actually get an Xbox yes. 360 here, as opposed to a lot of the locations people are waiting at. And they may actually end up disappointed out there. And, and hopefully actually, there'll be no nerd riots for our good friends out in Seattle and in, in, in New York to contend with. I'm glad so, I'm here in the Xbox land of plenty, then. Yes, this is the <laughs> land of plenty. The, the land of Mel County and Xbox 360s. I think the other fun thing is, are these, these bean bags. Yes. These, they're, they're, people have been sitting on them, take from place to place to play the video games, and it's actually it's been this hysterical mm -hmm. sight where they're dragging it behind them and it looks part hobo and part two-year-old with a security blanket. There's it's childish and endearing and, and you, you can just see people even walking around right now with them. Oh, oh someone's saying the trucks are coming in. Yep, there they are. Look at that. It's a truck and an airplane hangar. <laughs> Who would somebody, have ever thunk it? Now everybody needs to keep an eye out because somebody's going to get squished as they rush the truck in anticipation <laughs> of the gigantic semi which is coming into the airplane hangar right now. Now, now the way you can see is that, that a lot of kids here have been waiting 36 to 48 hours for right. this moment. I, I, I was almost, I'm worried, they're probably be so tired when they finally get home with this 360, they'll just take a nap and, and wait till the next day to play them. It is getting a little bit chaotic. Everybody's in line, everyone's trying to hold their place in line, but everyone's also running to try and get to the truck. Well, at least no one's throwing themselves in front of the truck. Right. That would just add tragedy to what's really not been a very tragic 48 hours. And they wouldn't hours. get the first Xbox anyway, would they? Oh, but people are getting up. Suddenly there's, now you're finally seeing this activity that's been lacking in this hangar for a while. All yes. right, well, I think I'm going to head on down there. Right. And I'll be reporting for the first person to get Xbox 360. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, Adam heads down among the masses to get a closer look. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Stupid commercial. But don't worry, when we come back, the Xbox 360 is finally here and we've got reviews of the biggest launch titles. Stay tuned for more of the Next Gen Review Marathon, only on G4. The young male brain comprised of two distinct sectors. This half the technology, this half the pleasure center. Obsessed with getting your noodle in the shoulder. For two days, G4 brings you gadgets and girls. January 11th, go inside the Consumer Electronics Show and see the future of tech. Then on January 12th, stimulate those pleasure centers at the Adult Entertainment Expo. G4 presents CES and AEE January 11th and 12th at 9 p.m. Balance your brain with G4. <laughs> Guess who just saved $380 on a new digital camcorder? Yep, Bob just discovered UBID.com, where anyone can save up to 70% on brand name home electronics, computers, and more. And only UBID backs every purchase with a 100% fraud-free auction guarantee. So you can bid safe and save big, like Fred here, Holy who just saved $725 on a new high-definition flat-screen plasma TV. And Mike, who saved $88 on a brand new MP3 player. 
everybody's bidding safe and saving big and catching you bid euphoria. They're saving up to 70% on brand name home electronics, computers, cell phones, watches, jewelry, video games, and collectibles, sports memorabilia, car audio, PDAs, vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Even great stuff for your home and garden, special weekly deals, and much, much more. Auctions start as low as $1, or you can buy it now and still save a bundle. Remember, Ubid backs every purchase with a 100% fraud-free auction guarantee. That means everything you purchase on Ubid is fraud-free, and that means worry-free. So go ahead, log on to Ubid right now, and see how easy it is to catch Ubid euphoria. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it at Ubid.com. All saving up to 70%. You could save hundreds of dollars on the brand name items you want. And with Ubid's 100% fraud-free auction guarantee, it's worry-free. Come on! What are you waiting for? Go to Ubid right now. You bid, you buy, you save, you celebrate! It's Ubid euphoria! Catch it now at Ubid.com. Save big, save safe. Ubid. Log on to Ubid now. You'll save big on brand name items. Ubid's the safest place to bid and save. Just go to 26.ubidtv.com At Gamefly, our passion for gaming has led us to rent games differently. We think different is better. Choose from thousands of the latest and classic video games delivered right to your door. Keep them as long as you want with no late fees. Then send them back in our prepaid envelope. People think we're crazy to rent games for as low as $8.95 for the first month. We think we're visionaries. Our vision? Make renting easier. Different? Maybe. Smarter? We think so. Go to Gamefly.com and start renting differently. New low starting price. Products on rated E through M. Hi, I'm Alan Thicke here in Las Vegas, the most exciting city on earth, with an offer you cannot refuse. For a limited time, Tahiti Village, the newest five-star resort in Las Vegas, is offering a complimentary three-day, two-night, second honeymoon getaway to Vegas. You'll have the romantic time of your life, and it won't cost you a dime. You may even stir up a little romantic magic with everything Vegas has to offer. This offer is limited to people who love food, fun, dining, gambling, sports, big shows, big stars, and generally people just loving life. Come on in. The party starts when you get here. Space is limited. Fun is not. It's couples only. It's complimentary. Hey, if you call right now, we'll throw in a pair of tickets to one of those fabulous shows right here on the Strip. What happens in Vegas should be happening to you. Only a limited number of complimentary packages available. Call this number now for details on this special offer. You're watching the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360. It is midnight Eastern time. Do you know where your Xbox 360 is? Well, it's, it's actually probably right over there. Yes. The moment we've been waiting for is here. Adam is down at Best Buy in the Mojave Desert to witness the sale of the first Xbox 360. Adam? All right, well, uh, the excitement level just kicked up a couple of notches. We're right here in an impromptu Best Buy shop and all the new Xbox 360s are being unloaded. It's actually quite a rather dramatic sight. And I believe we're about to see the person who's going to buy the first Xbox 360 here in the US and obviously here in the world. It's, it's amazing as all the people just are grabbing these big white boxes out of these trucks right here. They're rolling them down this conveyor belt and uh, all right, this is the man. We bought the first Xbox 360. Was, was, was this a transcendent moment for you? Oh, yes. Now, now you guys actually have a pretty good story to tell, because you you traveled almost the longest distance to get here. Where did you come from? Sinatobia, Mississippi. So you came all the way from Mississippi. And was it by car, by plane, by bike, by tricycle? By car. By car. How long did it take you to do it? About 36 hours straight. Oh, well, how very appropriate. Now, um, when, when did you decide, okay, we're going to do it, we're going to pile ourselves into a car, we're going to go all the way down, all the way down to Lancaster, California? He got, oh. he got the email, and he called me, and it was just on from there. Now, did you think, all right, we got a pretty good story to tell, because have, have you guys even left Mississippi before? Uh, well, yes, once or twice. But. Okay, how far did you go when you left Mississippi? <laughs> No further than a few hundred miles. So you've never made it out here to California, to the coast, see the Pacific Ocean? It's supposed to sound for both of us, see? I believe. See, see this, this, this has romance written all over it. They get to see the ocean. They get to have new technology that renders oceans beautifully. That works out really well. So, um, I mean, did, 
did you think you were going to be the guys to get the first Xboxes? No, we thought we were going to be the guys that got late and had to sleep through it because we drove for 35 hours. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you guys have been pleasantly surprised by that. So uh, now that you have it, what do you have to do next? Play it a lot. <laughs> now, don't you have to get back home first? No, no, we got a screen in the car. We'll play on the way. You got a screen in the car. Well, that's awesome. All right, well, that's the story down here. Morgan, back up to you in the tower. Well, the first Xbox 360 has been sold, and that means it's time for us to get critical. We kick things off with our verdict on one of the most violent games we've seen on the 360 so far. Here's our review of Condemned Criminal Origins. Slasher flicks give you the creeps. The dark basements send chills down your spine. Are bums with blunt objects your worst nightmare? Then, child, stay far, far away from condemned criminal origins. A lot of games try to be scary, most fail miserably. But condemned heaps on the atmosphere with some seriously slick and sick production. You play as top FBI forensics grunt Ethan Thomas. The city's natives are getting restless. And when Ethan is called in to investigate the latest in a string of bizarre slayings, he brushes shoulders with the killer. He's right above us. Please. Bullets from Ethan's gun have killed two fellow agents. To clear his name, he must kill the bums. And really, that's all you need to know. Kill the bums and junkies. Kill them with a clothes rack. Kill them with a fire axe. Bonk them with a pipe. Blast them with a gun. Beat them about the shoulders and head with a mannequin arm. Bludgeon them with a sledgehammer. Go WWE on their asses with a locker door. Or flog them with a shovel. Just about everything's a weapon in this game, and with no ammo for the guns, you must choose wisely. Nice choice. Stun a bum, and you can pull off finishing moves. Snap, crackle, damn! And if all else fails, you can play a little game called Shock the Destitute. As a forensics expert, you have tools. These tools are used to detect fingerprints, take photos, track deplorable substances, and give the game some cleverness to balance the ass kicking that Ethan's handing out. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? <laughs> oh, that's what you're gonna do. Damn, someone has a future on crackhead Jeopardy. There is no doubt, this is one of the grittiest, most nerve wracking, immersive games to ever be released. If it weren't for the janky blocking system and the fact that you could finish it in a day or two, we'd be staring at one of the best of the year. But few games will suck you into their world the way Condemned does. Perhaps it would be better if you lost a thing. And even fewer will leave you on the edge of your seat until the end. We give Condemned a four out of five. Now, speaking of violence, we might as well give the sports fans the moment they've been waiting for. Will Madden NFL 06 score a touchdown or get sacked? Find out in our review. Once again, two mighty forces enter the playing field. Will their dreams be crushed under the harsh realities of the sports, or will they persevere? Bound together by chance and slick marketing, Xbox 360 and Madden will reach for the dream of releasing a good launch title. Reality can be painful. The first thing you might notice about Madden 06 for the Xbox 360 is the lack of John Madden. Instead, each game's announcer is a local personality. And we're live from Jacksonville, Florida, just about ready for the kickoff. We call Coach Madden to find out why this change was made. Hello? Mr. Madden, this is Adam Sessler. I don't give a f who you are. I asked you, EA to have $200,000 laid out in my I'm not from EA. Shut the f up! I also asked for three Asian cheerleaders, and I only count two. Someone rub money on daddy's f***ing yeah. The results of the phone call were inconclusive. 
Now, don't get me wrong, this truly is a next-gen game. The beauty can be matched by no other football title to date, and the orange on the Browns helmets has never been, well, so orange. Despite the visual quality, it should be noted that Madden still falls short on the target renders. Another nice aspect is the flow of the gameplay. It's true Madden. Although at first, I thought the game might have some glitches. The receivers just kept missing my passes. But then I realized I was playing with the Cleveland Browns. When you're playing with a talented team, you'll see your quarterback actually shouting out plays from the line of scrimmage, and the new kicking style is far superior to the old golf swing mechanic. While the visual quality is beyond anything we've ever seen in a Madden game, there still are some glaring problems. The game offers only the most basic features, head-to-head -head and franchise mode. Sadly, there is no superstar mode, which also means there's no training mode. This makes for a slightly annoying transition to the new 360 control setup because you can't use any of the training camp drills to master your moves. Also, 150 players had their faces scanned for the game, but they really don't look like the players. I mean, I guess this looks like Eli Manning. Are these quarterbacks scanning the defense, or do they all just have lazy eyes? Along with these lacking features, there are several other annoyances. The game does not allow you to challenge calls. Occasionally, precision passing will be anything but, and animations repeat themselves often. I'm sorry, I just think you could have done more. More? Mord, do you know anything about the purity of football? Look at the sheer beauty of one man dragging another man to the ground. The tranquil elegance of the long pass. The ballet of the kick return. I'll admit it sure does look good, but I still have to give it a three out of five. That's fine. I'm gonna go cover myself in Vaseline and roll around in hundred dollar bills and Super Bowl rings. Goodbye, Mr. Madden. I hope you find peace in the purity of whatever it is you do with all that money. Oh yeah! Sure, he's rolling around in money, but so far Madden is the biggest disappointment on the 360. Now I guess when you're the only company with the NFL license, you just don't have to work that hard. All right, that was the bad news, people. The good news, one of the best World War II games ever made is coming up next. More 360 Launch Madness right after this, only on G4. Viewers agree, it's the show for everything you care about. Kevin is my role model. We have the internet. Olivia equals hot. Get ready to cough, bend over, and let me in your pants. We're going to bring you the latest news, oddities, and things that make you go, yeah. Attack of the show, weeknights at 7, only on G4. Brought to you by Verizon Wireless. Introducing Envy from Verizon Wireless, a phone, camera, multimedia center with full keyboard for instant messaging, exclusively from Verizon Wireless. Game shown ready to mature. GameTap offers you hundreds of the greatest video games, including Far Cry, Prince of Persia, and Silent Hill. And now your first month is just 99 cents. Go to GameTap.com. GameTap offers you hundreds of the greatest video games, including Sam and Max and Mist Online Uru Live. And now your first month is just 99 cents. Go to GameTap.com. Some games ready to eat not all games ready by the ESRB. I'm so scared. Fear has a new address. A place where bad things don't just happen at night. The best horror, the most deranged killers, all just waiting for you. To get there, go to Fearnet on your on-demand menu. Come on, what are you afraid of? G4TV.com. It's a whole new way to stay plugged into your world. Get the news you care about most, streaming videos, and more. Go to G4TV.com. Always fresh, always new. 
Welcome back to the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360, and, and guess what? The, uh, the countdown's over. Yay! Yay! The box is <laughs> on the store shelves. And now we've moved on to the reviews of the major launch titles. Now, so far, we've passed our critical eye over Condemned Criminal Origins. Pretty violent, pretty damn good. And Madden. Pretty disappointing. Yeah. But now, we get our first World War II shooter, because really every console has to have a World War II shooter. It's mandatory. Now, will Call of Duty 2 disappoint? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Here's our review. You are about to embark upon the Great Crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. If you consider the original Medal of Honor to be the beginning of the game industry's obsession with World War II, gamers have been playing recreations of WWII for longer than the war actually lasted. Do we really want to storm Omaha Beach one more time? In the case of Call of Duty 2, yeah, damn right we do. As in the first game, Call of Duty 2 casts you in the roles of various infantrymen in three different nations' military forces. You'll start out as a Russian soldier defending Stalingrad from the onslaught of the German Wehrmacht. Pretty inspiring for a godless commie heathen. Then you move on to the British campaign against Rommel in the deserts of Africa. And finally, do the D-Day thing with the U.S. Army Rangers. We've done a lot of this before in other games, but the difference in Call of Duty 2 is that it's never been done this well. The levels are more open, the action has far fewer scripted events, and your enemies are a lot smarter. These guys don't just sit there and wait for you to shoot them. Get complacent, and they'll advance on you, overrun positions, and take you out using any means necessary. And by any means necessary, I mean lots of grenades. The AI is so reactive that missions don't play the same way twice. Sure, your objectives are the same, be they clearing houses of enemy soldiers or searching the area for valuable intel on enemy positions. But it's fighting your way to those objectives and outsmarting a competent enemy force that makes Call of Duty 2 an intense, almost draining experience. While playing this with the surround sound crank, you need a nap between levels. Your comrades constantly chatter during battle, but for once, it's not just filler. All the characters react to changes on the battlefield. If your buddy calls out about enemy activity, he's actually providing useful information. This changes the dynamic of the game, so you feel more like you're fighting as a group. Just don't get too attached to anyone. We weren't actually expecting to ever be impressed by anything involving an M1 Garand rifle again. But Call of Duty 2 is packed with set-piece battles that are bigger than just about any other war game. Control is exceptionally smooth and intuitive for a console FPS, to the point that you almost don't notice you're not using a mouse to pick off Jerry Scum through the scope of your telescopic death delivery device. Add in an extensive online multiplayer element and you have yourself a World War II game that, for the first time in a long time, is an absolute must-play. A five out of five. Well, there's no question Call of Duty 2 is one of the biggest standout games of this launch or almost any other launch. Yeah, it is. It's really beautiful, too. Everyone's very excited about it. It's what, it's what most people have been excited about when we were talking to people who were uh, coming up for autographs. Yes, exactly. Like that. Speaking of excitement, yes. I believe Chris and Hold has experienced quite a bit of it out in New York City. Yes. Hey, guys, I'm here with Peter, who's one of the first people to leave <sighs> the Best Buy store in Midtown. You're freezing, huh? Very freezing. <laughs> I'm shivering. How long did you wait in line? I waited about 29 hours. It's 29 hours? Yes. Are you crazy out here in the cold and rain? Yes, you are. You're a crazy. A little bit crazy. And I love it. Let me see what you got. Let's show them the goods. They have to believe me that you actually got an Xbox 360. Yeah. Even the box is beautiful. It's Whoa. beautiful. So are you keeping this for yourself or are you giving it to someone for Christmas? This is mine. No one else's. <laughs> so he's greedy. Peter's greedy. I love it. Can I come over and play? 
Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, nice. That's where we're going, so I got to get out of here. Thank you, guys. What's going on at the Zero Hour event? Thanks, All right. Kristen. All right. Well, she might be considered a killer app, and I yeah. think speaking of killer app, the 360 <laughs> is hoping this next game by a cult designer will do the trick. Cinematech presents 99 Nights. comes to us from cult game designer Tatsuya Mitsuguchi, and it looks like it'll make the Dynasty Warriors fans yes. oh so happy. <laughs> and speaking of happy, stick around. We have reviews of Cameo and Project Gotham Racing 3 coming up next. Yeah, 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 yeah. More Next Gen Madness right after this, only on G4. Meet snowboarding god Mark Frank Montoya. He's opened this dope hotel on the slopes of Tahoe, where there are only three rules. Party as much as you want, bring the girls, don't trash my place. We're following his staff of misfits and madmen. People get really drunk and rowdy. They work hard. This is heartbreaking. I mean, I've never washed a toilet or anything in my life. And play even harder. I'll do anything right now for money and broke. Introducing The Block. <laughs> Series premiere January 15th at 10, only on G4. Introducing Envy from Verizon Wireless, a phone, camera, multimedia center with full keyboard for instant messaging, exclusively from Verizon Wireless. Who cried? I did. Not me. It was a sad ending and everything. I just I saw you with your cry. hand in your chin. That's called concentrating on the moment. <laughs> I wasn't crying, okay? I, I mean, seriously, I don't know why you got it. The Holiday Miracle Sales Event. No real miracles, just 199 Jettas until January 2nd. Hi, Aaron here. Special agent, someone needs fast, affordable insurance pronto. No problem. If you have insurance, I'm on it. Movie freak. Do you like cool tech toys? Well, this holiday, come to Vongo.com. For about 10 bucks a month, you and your family get unlimited movie downloads. So you can watch your movies at home, on the road, or anywhere else. And with the right cable, you can plug into just about any TV. Now, this holiday, give yourself and your family the gift of unlimited movie downloads. Anywhere with Vongo. Video on the go. Attention, all passengers, unaccompanied minors is a fun-filled adventure for the whole family. The perfect holiday laugh fest. Ho, ho, ho. Hysterical and heartwarming. Could this night get any better? 
Unaccompanied minors. Rated PG. Now playing. Homeowners, let us help you today. Here at the Mortgage Center, you are our valued customer. Imagine having three banks competing for your business. It's true. I made one fast and easy phone call. I was approved and received three great offers instantly to refinance my home. Homeowners, cash in today. Get money for debt consolidation or home improvement. The Mortgage Center can and will help. Call today. I was dangerously in debt. My credit was in the low 500s. But within one phone call, I was approved for three life-changing offers and on my way to being debt-free. Oh, more than 75,000 on your home? We have the lowest rates in the industry. Poor credit? No problem. Call our loan hotline today to receive three free quotes. It's that easy. The Mortgage Center helped me. They can help you too. All homeowners with loan amounts above 75,000 are approved for three free quotes. So call our 24-hour loan hotline now. You're watching the Next Gen Review on G4. Welcome back to Countdown to Xbox 360. Well, the console is out and we are now knee deep in reviews of the launch titles. Now, so far we have not been completely blown away by the polygons the 360 is pushing. Though they are quite impressive, but yeah. that can all change when we get behind the wheel of a series already known for its staggering realism and find out what it looks like with the 360's graphics engine under its hood. Here's our review of Project Gotham Racing 3. Wow, wow. There may be several racers competing for your Xbox 360 launch day dollar, but only Project Gotham Racing 3 contains that special mix of hyper-realistic cities and style-based street driving. Most racing games just want you to win the race. Project Gotham wants you to win the race with style. Pulling off drifts, passing opponents, and other such fancy tricks will earn you kudos points. Lots of kudos points will unlock special cars and make you better than other people. A lengthy solo career takes you through every route and race type imaginable as you trounce opponents and build up cash to fill your garages with automotive beauty. The old race styles are back with street races against a full grid of competitors as well as timed runs and cone challenges. The yellow cones can be kind of hard to see on some tracks. But if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Yay! Oh! Some new race modes have shown up, such as the very cool time versus kudos. You start with a tiny amount of time to complete the course, but the clock stops while you're earning kudos. Online, you can choose even more race types and use Gotham TV to watch other Xbox Live players race. Even when you're done with the offline stuff, the online mode takes on a life of its own thanks to the emphasis on the player community. As you've probably noticed, PGR3 is one of the most visually stunning games ever. If you've been to any of the cities in the game, you'll fully appreciate how detailed the recreations of the various metropoli are. Just about everything's in place and has its real name, which is especially impressive in Vegas. Here's New York, New York, the Monte Carlo, the dancing fountains outside the Bellagio. Hey, what's wrong, Steve Wynn? You too good for Project Gotham? Look at this. Was ever a skyline in such detail rendered? Was ever a skyline in such detail raced? This is not to imply there is no winter of our discontent regarding PGR3. Part of the appeal of the other Project Gothams was taking cars you see and drive every day and racing them on real city streets. But instead of minis or beetles, PGR3's lowest performing car is the Ferrari Testarossa. Yes, PGR3 is a supercars only club, which is disappointing. Also omitted are the radio stations. The soundtrack is provided via playlist only. The radio stations added personality to the cities, and they are sorely missed. It just doesn't feel like Project Gotham without Diet Tango ads. Okay, so it's not quite a full winter of our discontent. More like three Septembers and a January. Project Gotham Racing 3 is unquestionably a great racing game that offers amazing visuals and a nice balance between arcade and sim gameplay. 
Anyone from Sunday drivers to Autobahn veterans will find something to love. A four out of five. So far, with the exception of Madden, the 360 seems to have a pretty strong launch lineup. But now we move on to Cameo. And no, it has nothing to do with hit singles word up and the questionably titled Attack Me With Your Love. Please don't. Okay, I won't. Yes, uh, we've been hearing about Cameo for years. Initially, as a GameCube title back in 2001. And while a leap spanning not only a console maker, but also an entire console cycle, normally doesn't bode too well for the quality of the end product. But we do have high hopes for this one. Here's our review of Cameo for the Xbox 360. You're a parent. You're buying an Xbox 360 for your kids. They don't like sports or racing games. You're thinking, what the hell am I gonna buy for this rug rat? <laughs> It's not like it's easy to find a launch game for the Munchkins. Let's see, there's Call of Duty 2. Nope, that's not gonna work. How about Condemned? Don't think so. And then you feast your eyes on cameo elements of power. Surely this sugar-coated, pastel-tinged adventure is just what Captain Kangaroo ordered. Not so fast. Yeah, the story is saccharine enough. Cameo is an elf with the ability to transform into 10 different creatures. But like many families, Sister's just a little jealous. Determined to swing this way, Sis kidnaps Cameo's family. Cameo sets off for a little payback. But when the King Troll is awakened and goes Ike Turner on her ass, she has to start from square one. And there, it seems, you have the setup for another bedtime story. But this is a game with an identity crisis. After being developed for the GameCube, Xbox, and now the Xbox 360, it's not hard to understand why. One minute, your glucose levels are going into the red. And the next... Stripped of all her elemental warriors, Cameo's on the hunt for shadow trolls that have trapped the critters inside their transparent carcasses. Stomp a shadow troll, and you can map one of the monsters to a button for one press access. Each of the inventive elemental warriors has its own attacks and abilities, and the levels are set up to take advantage of every last one. You can upgrade the varmints with new abilities, and if you dole out enough blam, you'll enter Cameo's version of Bullet Time. We love some of the warriors, like Samus. I mean, Major Ruin. Another favorite is Pummelweed, because, well, he's a plant with boxing gloves. Others don't fare as well because they lack versatility or are only used in specific situations. In one rare case, the controls are so busted, you wonder why the beast is even in the game. While the gameplay can be versatile, it's still kind of light when compared to many of Rare's previous adventure ROMs. And eventually, you come to the realization that this is a beat-em-up in a pink nightgown albeit a see-through nightgown with furry tufts covering the naughty bits and the blood stain on the front. We can't figure out who this game is for. But we know just about everyone will enjoy it for the dozen or so hours it lasts. We give it a four out of five. Now, it's worth noting that people yeah. who think this is a platformer like Rare has done in the past, it is not. It is an entirely different type of game. Right. There's no jumping. There's no jumping. It's more adventurous. It is. But there also is some decent online co-op play on Xbox Live that could ca give Cameo a little bit of the added replay value. Yes, and now to wrap the evening up, Cinematech presents our last world premiere game trailer. Here's your exclusive look at the outfit.
down our 360 launch coverage, let's take a moment to thank all of our G4 correspondents. In New York, Cheats, Christian Holt. In Los Angeles, Attack of the Shows, Kevin Pereira. And in Seattle, G4TV.com's Jeff Keeley. Thanks, guys. And thank you for joining us for the countdown to Xbox 360. And you can find all the shows you've seen tonight at G4TV.com. The next generation of gaming is here, and you can always see all the next-gen games and Sony's and Nintendo's contribution to the next-gen cycle year-round right here on G4. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone's getting their Xboxes, and they're streaming out of here. You'll get your Xbox, right, don't you right. worry. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Look, Look at them streaming away. Watching the next gen review marathon on G4.